I should be recording that. <laughs> Too late, y'all. You missed something good. Ah. Tell me something good. Woo -woo. I could not stand that song. Ugh. <laughs> but Terry's picture is awesome. Everybody take a close look at Terry's picture. You're so funny. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Hi Carolyn. How are you, Carl? I'm good. How are you? He's first. Oh, wow. Look at Carolyn. Whoa. Oh, man. Psychodelic. It's pretty. <laughs> Woo, that's was, pretty. There was ice on the window when you're, and I had to take that picture. That that's, looked... that's great. It is. Just great. It, it's, it's, it's wild. Very, very wild. So I can only stay till the break. So. Well, then we just won't have a break. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no. Sorry, no <laughs> breaks tonight. <laughs> sorry, we'll just keep going. Keep talking, everybody. Keep talking. Nobody stop. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, good things happening, you guys. And it just I'm in a good mood. But you know, great. I'm in a good mood a lot of the time. So I hope everybody are. are you guys in a good mood? Yeah. Carl? Carl not yeah. so what? Oh, okay. Was that a yes? Yeah. 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 I wonder what would make Carl in a good mood. Where's Phoebe? Phoebe would or Ursula. No, Phoebe. Phoebe. Right. Uh, that, that's a, that makes me in a good mood. Hi, Phoebe. Hey, hey. I two are, hey, stop it. You two get along. <laughs> that, that is far big enough for you both to sit on it. <laughs> Imogen's like, how dare you get close to me? Yeah. And then uh, an hour later, she'll be licking his ears. Sounds about right. Yeah, poor Jack is out of sorts because he got hissed by both his big sister and his little sister. He got hissed mm -hmm. by hey, the little drama that goes into Hello. the lights. Of well, Candy. Hi, Hi, Hi Kyle. Leonard. Good evening. Look, Leonard's Hi. back. You were here last week, right? Yay. Correct. Yes, he was. So it was Carolyn and Kyle and Carl. And me. He's, he's got a picture of Phoebe. And yeah. Phoebe. Exciting things going to happen, you guys. I'm so excited. What? Oh, you're telling them tell that I'm in a really good mood. Are you going to tell us today? About what? About what? Good exciting things. things. Yeah. The exciting. Oh, it's just, it's just normal. The vision I'm, news. I'm going obviously, to LA tomorrow. Susan is obviously excited by the announcement of the Trump non fungible token trading cards. <laughs> oh yeah that's that must it. Be it. No, no, no. no i'm flying to la tomorrow oh. and i'm going to see hopefully see kyle oh yeah and i get that we're going to go to a museum all day saturday and i'll be there eat are you going yeah i'll be at the museum yeah and then we're going to go and then the next day give a talk i've got to finish putting the talk together i mean it's kind of together i just got to make it more put it in the right order and so that's going to be great. Um, I had, what else happened that was really good? I have another documentary peer person I'm meeting with next week. I've met with like a dozen. They just don't have a clue. They just mm -hmm. don't have a clue. I don't, I don't know what the heck. We want to do a documentary on, on the stuff you do. And you're like, and they're like, whoa, we're, we'll put together, let me get my secretary on this and she'll get on. And then you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh you do realize i'm not putting together a sting every week for your show yeah 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 and most of them most of them i stop right in their tracks because they if, i'll say so you've been doing a lot of research on you know this grief vampires and psychics and they're like oh yeah we're really we're not I'm like so what do you think of uh james randy's opinion on it who yeah. <laughs> i'm like I don't think we're going to work well together. You haven't done your research. If you don't know who James Randi is concerning psychics and all that, I don't think you've done your homework. You know, they're all, all talk, no go. And hey, there's Wendy. Wendy. Another person I'm going to see Hi. this weekend. And so I, it's going to be nice. I get to see you often, it feels like. It feels like it. And yeah, and, and then next time I'm going now, to come. Now you're making me feel guilty. 
You should have right. stayed down there, littered. You were just well there. because I was I was in LA and I didn't see anybody except well, for the board well, people, except for the 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 you CFI board. boring people. <laughs> yeah, and I I understood that, and I feel I didn't want to crowd you. It's it sounded like you had every minute planned. So yeah, but so I I got there after dinner on Sunday and left before breakfast on Wednesday and all day Monday and then dinner Monday was with the board and all day Tuesday and dinner Tuesday was with the board. <laughs> so there was, there was no time. With, you would have had more fun with, with me and Paula and whoever else is around. Of course you would have. We, we had a, there were, there were a bunch of good things about the board meeting. It, it went really well, but there was one particular aspect that just made the whole thing a real downer. And that was the this parking was lot at the CFI West, right? No, we actually someone passed uh, the challenge. No, Jim, uh, Jim picked us up in a van that he had rented and oh, no. drove us from the hotel. You let Jim drive you? Oh, yeah. That oh, was, my God. What are you thinking? That was exciting. Jim oh, drove us God, from the hotel. Oh, my God. The guy doesn't, he knows zero, a hundred. That's it. There's no in between. So he, he just yeah, he's out of the traffic like it. this. He drove us from the hotel to CFI West. No one was injured. It was really quite wonderful. But this was the first board meeting of CFI without basically Ken. ever without Ken Frazier. Oh, I bet. That must have been oh, really cool. But you know, it's it's a positive thing. I mean, it's well, no, it but isn't. it's like <laughs> what a man he what a history oh. he had and look he gave it all to us you know he gave it to yeah, what, a, what a wonderful he was wonderful devoted human to being. it it's in writing he even had his own obituary pretty much written and he published it almost before he you know we all saw it before it even got out into the press yeah, i have to get back here that guy was amazing what yeah, a man he, uh, of dignity yeah, just a just a wonderful human being there was a Oh, uh, oh! Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but there was a Zoom call last night with uh, members of the New Mexicans for Science and Reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, about Ken, and uh, a bunch of his friends and Ruth were there. Um, I joined in. Jeannie Scott, Richard Saunders, Jeannie. and we just talked about uh, Ken and what he did for science for science journalism for skepticism and just what a wonderful human being he was yeah it Jeannie was, uh, Scott is really sweet she's she i feel like i'm nobody you know like she's just she's always been polite to me we um her table for the um bay area skeptics at dragon con many years ago was right next to the table. I mean, it was just chance. Maybe I thought maybe it's because we're from California, but we're, you know, we don't live near each other. But she was so warm. She greeted me warmly. She, she, um, she was really nice to me on several occasions. Like I, I would, you know, just in passing at TAM or other activities. What a nice lady. Yeah, she I don't I don't want this to I don't want this to sound wrong, but Wendy, it had nothing to do with you. It's just that Jeannie is the <laughs> nicest person you will ever meet. She's very nice. She's, she's very sweet. There is nothing wrong with that. She I, helped you me know, out with the skeptical. Although I am charming. You she's, are charming. She, I, she's <laughs> wonderful. But she really helped out with skeptical because it was my first. I hadn't even attended to skeptical and then I volunteered we love that. Easily <laughs> on the board. That was great. I love that. And All right. Was, right. New, new blood. New and blood. I, I didn't know what was going on. And the person who kind of broke me in was going to tutor me. And she kind of like uh, vanished. So Jeannie took over and she took me under her wing. And it just made me, She's it, she really saved the day. She's great. And she's she really speaking for my Ollie um chapter next semester for Is us that right? yeah 
you'll probably get contacted. She's just not contacting all of my suggested speakers all at once because I, I asked her what was going on and she said, oh, well, I don't want to do them all the same semester. So you'll probably get an Yay. email. I love doing, talking to students. They're so much fun. Well, anyway, like I said, I'm in- Well, we're old students. It's like, it's 50 it's and great. above. Hi, yeah. and Aaron's here. Hi there. Aunt is here and Jane is here with her lights. Isn't that the coolest? They don't light up. Do they light up, Jane? I didn't have a gig tonight, so I decided to tune in. Oh, well, I'm glad to see you, but your lights, do they light? No, they don't. They're just little material things. Oh, <laughs> well, they're very clever. And Bob's here. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. I said, and even Romero from North Carolina. Oh, here comes Faith. You know, it's just such a good feeling that I didn't even put this together to be something. And I thought, you know, we played a couple times and might play for a few days, a few, few weeks. <laughs> it's been a few weeks. What's wrong yeah. with you people? <laughs> it's It's been a few weeks. <laughs> Game number 138 today. Ooh. So it's, I, I just, you know, I keep signing on to Zoom and you guys keep showing up. I, I don't know. I said I'd stop when you guys stop showing up. <laughs> I talked to somebody today who might join us next week. Oh, really? Okay, we could do that. Oh, that's Christmas season, isn't it? She told me she's too drunk today to join. So she'll that might have been more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, told her I, I told her it might help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't be so nervous about the whole thing. I just saw Cindy yesterday. Look at there's Cindy. Cindy. Hi, everybody. Cindy just joined my, Hi, my Cindy. Gorilla Skepticism Hi. Uh, Operation Grief Vampire Group. So watch out. Somebody already asked you for help. I don't know if you saw that or not. No, I, I haven't signed into Facebook yet except okay. for this event. You mean you have to sign into Facebook? I thought it was always just like part of your neural. Well, what I mean is I haven't taken a look at it yet. Okay, well, it's on 24-7 here. So I, I will go in the middle of the night and check Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have just rolled out the most fun thing. And Cindy knows all about it because she was there last night when we were talking about it. And I was so jazzed after talking to you guys about what we're going to do. And they just, I said, we're going to be doing these series of workshops in Salinas over three different Saturdays. And these are the topics. And it's just a discussion kind of thing. And we're doing it first. See if it's a first time rollout. Um, we're going to do it first. And then the Western New York uh, group in CFI in buffalo area amherst they're going to do it like right after we do it and so we're so the things i learn the mistakes i make we'll feed it over to them and then we're going to start rolling it out to the other groups either i'm going to come out to your group and do your first one st louis <laughs> sacramento <laughs> other places la or we'll hopefully get people trained to be able to do it if this is successful and the groups like it but uh, I rolled it out last night. I was talking about it at, we went for pizza last night and Cindy was there and they just like went right into it. Like, well, this is, you know, and, and, da, 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 and, da, da. and Cindy and another guy there, Paul, they read the articles already that we we're going to use. I was like, oh, wow. You guys like read the articles already. I was just like, wow, this is great. This is going to feels right. It feels good feels really so good. The groups all have to be this doing the same thing? No. You can adapt yeah. to whatever you want. Talking about, yeah, we're talking about giant uno. Well, that's that's first thing. This is this is a discussion group probably held at a public place, possibly. We're going to do it at a library. So we'll have the public hopefully show up. I have no idea what that's going to entail. It might be interesting. People walking by can come in. I don't care. I'm going to go see the, I'm going to go see the room tomorrow, check it out. And we're going to start with discussion topics. And I've made them really simple. The first one is going to be the UFO uh, article that uh, Mick West wrote for Skeptical Inquirer on hair dryers, mm -hmm. <laughs> hair dryer burns, because the conversation mm -hmm. I'm trying to have, it's, I only got two hours, is a discussion on how to have conversations with people that aren't in the rabbit hole all the way. I mean, you know, they're, they're 
they've got fringy theories or whatever, but we're not talking about the hardest conversations. We're talking about conversations that are like people who have fringe beliefs. Hi, Janine. And people magic. that are in the rabbit hole, but they're close enough to the top that you can reach in and, and grab their Maybe hand. pull them out a little bit, give them some critical thinking skills. So we're going to talk about, we're going to do three separate Saturdays. They're all standalone, so people don't have to go to each one, but they're all going to kind of continue on to each other. And it's a group activity to discuss, like, how do you really have a good conversation with somebody? What are some of the things you want to avoid? And here's a case study of this UFO uh, group or phenomena in mainly in France where people were showing up with burn marks and they couldn't figure out why and they, had, and they felt it was UFO related. And so why did people, why did they go to that instead of, you know, something a little more common? Why, why did they leap to UFOs instead of just Gosh, that's a weird looking mark. I mean, you know, that kind of phenomenal. So we're going to talk about it in discussion. And then the next week, we're going to talk about the Mandela effect and talk about it again with why do people have these? I mean, we're not getting into the science of it, but why do people, you know, go to quantum theories and to describe something that's just a memory problem and how this thing is big channel. <laughs> what the discovery channel or the history <laughs> channel that's why yeah. oh, i agree well i run just oh. making a big Hello. leap so susan where is this who's doing this i'm, I'm, I'm rolling it out right now uh we're gonna oh. have january 7th 14th and 21st at my salinas library and and mm. the first time the first articles we were going to do because i'm working on this with cfi's um director of outreach uh, Eric Schaefer, new guy, brand new guy to CFI, only been there a few four, three or four months. And they, they kind of said, um, and I think you're going to be working with Susan Gerbic. And he's like, okay, <laughs> it's very nice. Very, very nice. So and it's in his person. I'm old as his parents. <laughs> so it's in person. Yes. In person uh, to the public. And I, what we're going to do is we're going to roll it out. And then as we roll it out with all the flaws and and failures and good things we'll start rolling it out to other groups if they want to do it it's a just it's a way of having not just social meetups but more educational stuff to kind of bring your membership some kind of um how do we say this like a Exposure. like a, a a baseline like cindy and i were talking <laughs> we had a woman who joined us last night to skeptics uh, our our pizza thing she didn't have any clue she met up on, she was on meetup and she searched for the thing, atheist, <laughs> the term atheist and found our group. And she had no idea. She doesn't know who Richard Dawkins is. She doesn't know who James Randi is. She doesn't know who Center for Inquiry is. She doesn't read any of the books, podcasts, articles, videos, nothing. She's like, I am embarrassed how little I know. She didn't know who Tim, um, Tim mentioned. No. Yeah. Tim mentioned the piano guy. She didn't yeah. know who he was. So we gave her a list of like four things to look up. So. But that's what I, I, think I, I envy people. As an atheist. I, I envy people that have never been introduced to mention yet because they get to discover him for the first time. And, and that's just it is. incredibly fun. Susan, uh -huh. how did, did she describe to you how she figured out that she's an atheist she said she's always been <laughs> she uh was in the uh, her father was in the military they traveled all over the place army and she said that she's always been her family was an atheist family her grandfather was a minister <laughs> so but so she just was looking for a social meetup i guess she's just now retired and she wanted a group of like-minded people and she typed in the word atheist and found us and she she just showed up and she's really like wow but the only photo and here's something she told me the only photo i think our main photo on our meetup page is all men mm. sitting in, they're sitting in a in a skeptic camp and it's just the picture the angle i took it at it's probably got leonard in it the angle i took it at i think is just men in the audience she was a little worried that she was gonna show up and it was gonna be all men but then she said she looked a little further and she saw that the organizer was a woman and she i I, I don't know why maybe she'll tell me someday but it was uh i i hadn't even thought of that before you know 
that maybe I should have more photos on there showing more representation <laughs> of what we do and who we are. And, and you know, it, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll bribe some young people to stand in the picture. <laughs> Yeah, Thank we got you. lots of kids here. <laughs> anyway, you guys got ready to play? It's almost time. You guys excited about Christmas or whatever is happening besides Jane? <laughs> look at Peggy. <clears throat> oh, look at Peggy. Hi, oh, no. Peggy. <laughs> so oh, 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 oh. Peggy, oh, oh, oh. how's George? <laughs> George is good. I got a good with the picture. Like he's a good dog and he hasn't chewed anything up. Oh no, not that kind of good. I mean, he's good at he's good in health. He's quite healthy. Um oh. what did he chew? The latest thing. Um, I have to give away a Christmas gift that he helped wrap. So it's gonna be a little chewy. <laughs> that might be better. Special people will feel a lot more about it though. Oh. I, I think the right person will appreciate it. <laughs> Pre-chewed. Isn't that sweet? my daughter is having um a Christmas brunch that that's the the holiday meal and so we had an agreement we're going to have all the ethnic food lox bagels and fried matzah oh, and nice. yeah and um and then did you know that Emery's birthday is Christmas day so we call it Saint Emery's day <laughs> Emery must every month uh -huh. So I think we're going to go out for Chinese food. I like that we're not traditional necessarily, you know, it's whatever you want it to be. I think it's fun. Look at there's Vincent in the snow. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Hi. I think, I think. Oh, they don't do Christmas. I finally have a uh, working computer. I don't know how I did it. Yeah. But I think I finally have a working computer. See, cool. I am so happy. About. See, he's. I'm not the only one in a good mood. Tell us about your computer. Is it? Did you name oh, it? Oh, it's been well. Yeah, a piece of junk. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this one, the new one. No, it's not new. It's still the same computer. It's just that I've been doing tweaks upon tweaks <laughs> upon tweaks and Lord looking Jesus. at the That's event viewer and. and Email. You know, it's been. Yeah, it's in a PDF, so can you read that? It's, it an email. Yes. Okay. It's been. It's been. Um, it's been a tough few months with it, and I think finally now it's it's good. Uh, I'm hoping I do not get a blue screen of death. So should we lay hands on it? Well. <laughs> Metaphor. Yeah, good prayer. If if we yeah. all hum at the right frequency, I'm sure it'll help. Yeah, but so far so good. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. There's nothing been happening. I've been watching my X files, and um, it hasn't been buzzing or anything like that. So I think. Where do the characters X live? Yeah, I where think does Sully it, live? <laughs> Oh, uh, Anaheim, Anaheim, which I have no idea <laughs> where that is, but it's you Anaheim. Want, you want me to clarify which one is in Virginia and which one is in Maryland? Oh, yeah, which one's which? I wasn't able to tell you which was which last week. But but you know what? My computer, my screen fixed itself. I had it to go healed just like just like religion. I went yeah. I went to the office on Friday morning to have IT do whatever magic they could do with it. They were busy and couldn't get to me. So I left it on running while I worked on my office desktop and I left it on running and around 10 o'clock I glanced over and it was fine. And then a and rainbow it, appears behind you. Right? And it's been fine since. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Well if you if you get the computer near someone that can fix it, they get a they get scared and oh, they I, uh, and, I and the uh, they the, overhear the you talking about disappear. they're going to get neutered. Yeah, I, I, I always, I always said that com computers fix themselves when you ask somebody to look over your shoulder. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> true with everybody, everything they all do that. All right, you guys, getting ready. Here comes Gail. Everybody, sharpen up. Ron, Ron, what do you think is going on with this stupid house? I hate Stephanie. Can we just 
Nobody else. They should have hit her with the brick instead of the window. Yeah, and there's no brick. What brick are you talking about? The, the one that she thinks that was thrown. There's no brick. There's no brick in the house. Somebody yes. broke into the house. It's so stupid. How could it still be broken? Why would there still be? Oh, it's a cartoon we follow. Luann. Yes. The only the only people in the world who read this cartoon <laughs> are Ron and I. And my wife does too. Oh, Sterling, my son used to. When he lived at home, we'd always discuss it. But oh my gosh, how stupid. These uh, Stephanie is just just. Oh, what a horrible human. Just, yeah. It's true. And do you like so the, how do you really feel? <laughs> the pearls before swine I sent you? Yeah, yeah. That was good. I love that comic. And, they're, and he's doing, they're doing a whole bunch on, on, yeah, they're doing a whole bunch on Elon Musk. I posted another one today on uh, Twitter. Like, oh, how sad. He's got $44 billion. Let's do a fundraiser for him. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, well, no, he he's he's thrown away forty four billion dollars. Well, they're trying to they're trying to raise money for him, I guess. But I like the one on trivia night. Oh yeah, that I was see. really good. You guys all saw that, right? The trivia. Don't recall. No. What's trivia? Let me see if I find it really quick here. Oh, my it's not worth bothering. <laughs> trivia is it? Oh, look at these pets. It's trivia. Don't everyone. Oh, here it is. This. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, here I'll show it really quick. Took me. A, took me a second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like I like pig spaces. Oh, oh very like fun. So I need to wipe that out and make it say Thursday night. And not at the pub. On yeah, sorry, I didn't edit it. Yeah, say online Thursday. Yeah. yeah, online and then and put Thursday. That that would be I can start using that as, as our header somewhere. Okay, so let's get you guys going. This is, um, uh, we've got more people, of course, who'll join. So you know the drill that we, we have people who start off with um, in one group and then they have another. Karen's going to be joining us a little bit. She wanted to go early. So she's going to go in room two. And look, Zeke is here. We haven't seen Zeke in a, in a week or so. I told you, I always forget it's Thursday until I see the post that you make of all Somebody the Somebody remind me to always post and, and just tag her. Because <laughs> I don't always remember to um, to to even post it on my feed until it finally pops up and says, hey, by the way, you're hosting in a group tonight. I, I set an alarm on my cell phone. Oh, yeah. That's okay. the only reason I know. It goes off at 9.10 on Thursday. Oh, that's funny. Nine. Um, okay, so there's one, two, three there. I'm going to put, Faith, are you going to stay separate from, from Romero the whole night or just for the first round? Probably the whole night. I've got some sewing I have to do. Okay, I'm going to force you to be in a separate room from him. You guys are <laughs> spending way too much time together. As long as they don't now share I don't answers. know which one I want on my team. It's a tough decision. We well, are not going to share answers. <laughs> I'm competitive as fuck. We are not sharing answers. I know. I don't know which one I want on my team. You or him? Uh, you're if there's a lot of pop culture, you're getting getting neither of them. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm being punished now. At trivia. <laughs> I need to put somebody in that other group. Which I'm doing a category. What round? We don't we honor requests. Fourth? Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to stay on as long as I possibly can. Good. Yeah. Same here. Me too. And I'm gonna stay on longer <laughs> than I possibly can. Yeah. Carrie says I can only stay until the break, and I said, "Well, then I guess we're canceling the break." <laughs> break is oh. after round four. After round five. Instead of a break, we will have a pause after the second round. A pause. <laughs> and, then a, pause and then a break after the fourth fourth round. 
Oh, I need to add somebody in that group. Okay, hold on a second. Add pause. I'm going to leave after five rounds. Oh, well, I'm going to try to stay the whole night. Um, you know, I'm, I'm setting up all my travel schedules and everything around trivia. <laughs> I'm not the only one that does. So if I miss one, it is like because I really had to. So we'll be not, okay. So Paula says she'll be here. She says, I will not, I will, so will not too late. I'm heading home now. So we'll be not too late for trivia. Okay. I had to translate that like too many letters or something in there. Okay. So I'm putting you into your rooms. I get the broadcast. This is so cool. And I will see you in a few minutes. Come back with something clever. Bye, everybody. I miss you already. <laughs>
Hamilton, go talk to the talk to him. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if Hamilton jumped up and got right in front of the camera. Yeah. Or if he pounced on the keyboard and changed everything. Yeah. <laughs> pounced on the keyboard and instantly banned everybody from the Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Hamilton left because he says, I'm going towards the kitchen. Maybe I'm going to get a cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peggy. Yeah? Apparently we're being recorded. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, thanks for the tip. I never would have gotten that. All right. Hey, I, I don't think there. I am because it always tells me. Oh, it didn't say it didn't tell me this time. The same experience here. Yeah, it didn't. Yes. Say. Yeah. Maybe we're not recording. Only some of you guys are. So it it'll be says like in the upper left part. recording. Yep. Uh. <laughs> yes, it does on mine too. You yeah, believe everything you read. It people recording. like Santa. It was combined. With the closed captioning, it says closed captioning, blah, blah, blah. Recording is on. So, um, yeah. yeah. So it was separate. Okay. They were being facetious, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is being recorded. These days, it's hard to tell what's being facetious. Satire is very hard to identify. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah. In my household, it's assumed that that's what it is, unless told otherwise. Uh, yeah. At least in the house I grew up with, not with John, because he doesn't, he doesn't get it. But I think I have some matchups that we've never had before, right? Yeah. Are there some people who are on teams of people they've never met before. Correct. Um, oh, I've met everyone that I'm on my team. It's like yeah. the birthday paradox. I don't know if you had something in your mouth, but it sounded like, sounded like you said we have some Mack trucks that we've never had before. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my Heath bar. Mac There's your kitty been... beside you, Susan. Kitty. Your Girl. kitty. Uh. Ham. 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 Hamilton. Spam. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. So, <clears throat> Carolyn, Romero, Ron, and Vincent, what's your team name? Nuclear Fusion Jazz Band. <laughs> I love well, it. Any reason in particular for that <laughs> as you write it into the chat? The news of the month, at least. Yeah. Plus, I was a music major, so. When I hear fusion, I think of something different. <laughs> ah. Hey, Zoom chat. There you go. We learned so much about each other. Nuclear fusion, jazz band. Actually, no, uh, it was nuclear. 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 Yeah, nuclear. 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 Nuclear fusion, jazz band. It's nuclear. Fusion. Oh, did he say nuclear on purpose? <laughs> I, I hear I hear the same thing you guys are saying, the same thing I just said. There's no difference in the words you're saying and I'm saying. Okay. Nuclear and nuclear? nuclear? Nuclear. Did he does he mean was he making a joke out of nuclear? No. That's because some, some people pronounce it that way. Nuclear. Oh. Isn't it pronounced nuclear? It depends nuclear. on who you ask. Nuclear. No. People in There's no U after the C. I There's can't no hear any difference. It sounds the same to me. Wow. Okay. Bob, Faith, Jane nuclear. in California, Leonard and Karen, would you guys come up with? No, no NFT for me. No NFT for me. <laughs> non fungible trumps. Uh -oh. oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, that's the joke. That's what he said. Gail, Janine, Kyle, and Terry. <laughs> oh, oh, free virtual oh. trading cards, $99 each. $99 and 99 cents. But wait. But, <laughs> but you now. can get our pictures. Order, no. order, order now and we'll and we'll deduct another $10,000 on 1231. <laughs> but you do have to promise not to right click and say save as. Why? <laughs> right. Is that a thing? I don't know. It is. I have some popcorn here. What happened to it? Okay, Carl, Kevin, Wendy, Zeke, Jane in Oregon. 
You told us to come back with something clever, so we obeyed. Something clever. <laughs> Is it clever, Hans? That it's just what you said. Okay, that's <laughs> that's very clever of you all. Ben, Cindy, Aaron, and Peggy. We're fishing for. Fission for fusion. Oh, we're fission for fusion. Cool, fission. I like fission that. For fusion. Fission for fusion. Fission for fusion. Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh! But freaking yeah. scary because we've always been told you can't make energy. It's it, uh, oh, yeah. what is it called? Like a self um, energy machine that perpetual motion. Perpetual motion machine. Well, you can't. Yeah, this isn't a perpetual motion. Well, you're, this is you're using something up. It's you you can, you just keep turning the crank, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, and, yeah. Then, and then I saw an article that said, Oh, this is just it's not really a big deal that that they that that announcement is made like every four years. That is completely untrue. Yeah, it has I've never heard it. The, this this this, this is a, a well. Um, the the threshold that was reached was was real and is something that has been anticipated for decades and has never been announced before, and it's 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 a real a real thing, but it's not a breakthrough indicating that this is about to become commercially reasonable. Yeah, but it's an important step point. along the way. An important exactly. incremental step has been achieved. An yeah, important step important. along the way. It's an it's a very important it step. It's the first time it's been shown it can happen, right? Yeah. No. no. I was getting all excited oh. about it. Oh, I thought it was the first time. Yeah, I thought no, it's it's it. it's the first time that more energy came out than went in. Okay. Well, that's what I mean. It's yeah. The first time that has happened. Yes. Which is yeah. a huge step because it's yep. showing that it's possible. Well, actually, it's the first time more energy has come out than went in without there being a gigantic explosion. <laughs> well, that's a bonus. That is a bonus, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. every H-bomb that has ever gone <laughs> off has been more energy coming out than going in. Okay, that does make sense. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's been you're happening right. in the sun for a few billion years. All yeah, I know that... is it made my ears pop. <laughs> <laughs> the news? No, no, when it went off. I know exactly what moment it happened because my ears went. Oh. How, how close are you to it? <laughs> Lawrence Livermore Labs? How close am I to that? They're constantly going off in Susan's head. So, <laughs> uh, well, you guys know I've been hit by lightning a couple times, right? Okay. Well, Hence why they're going off. off in your head. <laughs> I've actually You're still on that. that room. Have you got bitten by a shark? A shark? Not too. Yeah. No, oh, wow. it's too cool. well. You, that's something you got that bit we'll, by a hoop we'll snake. A hoop snake, yeah. <laughs> and attacked by a drop bear. A drop bears? Oh, all the time! My God, I can't even go into Australia anymore. Okay, Abducted so by aliens yet? I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> my that's my good alien answer. children living on that's a good planet X Y Z. I can't discuss because I want grandchildren. That's today. A, the little okay. chip heaped up. <laughs> the chippies i got the chips so <clears throat> here we are today thank you welcome thank you for joining me today game number 138 season That's three me. episode 129 29 here we are on the december 15th uh, 2022 and we have five groups count them five groups that are all vying to just beat the crap out of each other to win the trophy <laughs> of bragging rights at the end of the night. Those of you who stay till the end. And the five teams that have chosen these eloquent names to represent their, their, their intelligent teams, these, these massive competitive teams are Nuclear Fusion Jazz Band versus No NFT for Me versus Team 3 Virtual Trading Cards, $99 each versus something clever something clever clever versus we're <laughs> fission for fusion <laughs> i don't know why that's one vision we're fission for fusion fission for fusion 
I guess it's like with the team of three virtual trading cards, $99 each. But by now, and we'll throw in some vision for fusion. But no NFT for me. Anyway. Da, na, 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 jazz band. Very clever. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so you guys are nuts. Okay, you ready? So the, the team leaders tonight, 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 are Romero in North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina, Rhina, Lina, Lina, writing from his room that I am going to visit and I'm going to put something on the back of the wall. I swear I am. If it's just like scribble lines or something on it. Next, next week, Romero, show up with a post-it note back there. <laughs> well, look, Zeke's not gone any better. Now, I know Zeke has got the most creative stuff that she's doing with her daughter. <clears throat> I mean, they got... I'm hiding in a corner so the rest of the family isn't annoyed by me. So, oh, well, <laughs> let's make sure we annoy him. Jane, at least, has a stick behind her. <laughs> <laughs> or two sticks. See? Those are um, me. Yeah. yeah. You have two I, do, I do have a friend there with me go. in the corner. There though. you go. There you go. That's Aww. better. Now. Look, there you go. Hi, Mr. Owl. Woodsy Owl. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Terry's got a picture, at least. Make some effort, you guys. And and I've got um, multiple versions of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> well, that's a good one. That's true. It looks like Karen's house looks like. Like, you know, one of those art exhibits where, or those old houses where people have, have left and they take their thing and they put it over the, the, the furniture. Like, she, 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 like the, to yeah, protect yeah the but that's creepy because they always have the murderer underneath them. I got one made out <laughs> um, of uh, building bricks. Oh, he's got an enterprise. Oh, let's see who can out nerd who. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're starting off with Romero. Then we're following by Karen, who is going to, and then after the break, it's going to be Kyle, who doesn't have his disco lights on, which he used to turn on. I, I liked his disco lights, but they're off right now. And then Kevin. There he is. He's going to look yep. like this. Kevin. Yep. And then yep. last but not, oh, look it. Aaron's going to out nerd you guys by a galleon. <laughs> I've got Barbie and Ken on the on the bridge of the Enterprise. I have BB-8. <laughs> For you guys or something else. And then Peggy. Where's Peggy? Oh, there's she was Santa. Oh. Then I go, there she is at the top. You guys all moved around. Why didn't you do that? Okay. So we have ready? no control. Who's <laughs> gonna be the winner? Who? 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 Who's gonna be the winner? The the owl, so. be Obviously Zeke. Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> she does have the owl. Mm. Wait a minute. That's that's wrong. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> He's a little tight on my head. I haven't decided what hats to wear to LA this weekend. You know, because it's a long conversation I got to have about what to wear hat wise. I need to stretch this out. So I need some and a complex head. one with all the voices in your head <laughs> for all the different. <laughs> See, I can tie this one underneath if, if it's windy. Windy, it gets windy. Okay, here we go. So Romero, you already have your powers. How's okay. that for being organized? And Peggy, in charge good. of the trolls. No, no, it wasn't Peggy. Who who do I assign? You assigned me before oh. you left. Oh yeah, Peggy's in charge of trolls. So don't be a troll. Don't feed him. No, oh, I was hoping to be one. No, I'm kidding. I just. <laughs> You're in charge of organizing the trolls, Peggy? As long as you don't try to cross my bridge. Oh, you won't oh Romero's got sharks. I have a feeling this right. is going to be about NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, well, there's maybe very distantly related, but we'll see. Yeah, the topic is uh, just some rand random questions right now. Random. <laughs> we'll see. Random right. answers. Random. <laughs> okay, so right. Becky, you want to mute them all? Uh, yes, I will. Um, yes, and I do that in participants, and I'm going to go to mute all. You're supposed to say, and Romero, 
remember you are not you have to unmute yourself or some kind of you could do it oh yeah i forgot that part remember remember do it and cling on next time so it's really nerdy (laughs) okay all right so uh number one uh let's see this this jewish american gangster from the 40s was involved in many questionable ventures including trying to sell an explosive that detonates without sound or flash to Mussolini and Goebbels. He met his end when a sniper shot him at a home in Beverly Hills. So that's number one. All right, number two. This chemical compound classified as a salt has many uses, such as an insecticide, metal soldering flux, a component in glass, high tanning, a household laundry, and household laundry and cleaning products. Uh, number three, what is the name of for a type of sinkhole that forms through subsidence and collapse after the emptying of a magma chamber? Number four, uh, a large mass of intrusive igneous rock larger than 100 square kilometers that forms deep within the Earth's crust is called, and I try to make it a little easier, I give a multiple choice, A, black, blackolith, B, lopolith, C, batholith, or D, facolith. Uh, number five, the process that leads rocks in a river to become round is known as A, transport-induced abrasion, uh, B, hydrologic rounding, C, continuous impact abrasion, or D, layer exfoliation. All right, number six. In 1854, the bark of this tree was removed and shipped to London, where it was displayed at the Crystal Palace until the building burned down. The tree died a few years later and eventually was left burned down in a forest. Eventually was uh, burned down in a forest fire. What was the name of that tree? Uh. Right. Uh, seven. The numbers of the of this species of animal uh, have recovered after being almost hunted to extinction in the 19th century. They are the largest extant member of the order Carnivora. And then eight. This writer served as a war correspondent during World War II. He accompanied commando raids in Italy, and some of his writings from this time were incorporated into the documentary Once There Was a War. Number nine, occurring about every five years now, the first of these was held in 1851 to showcase the achievements of nations and technological advances. One of these events uh, celebrated the completion of the Panama Canal. And number 10, this explorer was liked by Queen Elizabeth I because of his efforts at increasing the Protestant church. However, after she died, he was arrested and charged with treason. Elizabeth's successor, James I, um, forgave him, or uh, charged with treason against Elizabeth's successor, James I. He was forgiven, but during an expedition, some of his men attacked a Spanish settlement. He was found guilty and beheaded. And that's it. Any questions? You got some good ones there. They look good. Very good. Okay, so this our rooms. Okay. All right.
en cada etapa, ¿no? Okay. Okay. Hmm. I didn't get the thing. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. There's some I will, on the I will, it's it's common for you not to get the thing right away. Sometimes they don't. So I have to see who shows that's up. The first me. time. Didn't get one either. Yeah, same okay. here. So Carolyn, it's going to go alphabetical. Carolyn's room one. Gail is in three. Jane, I got to fix. Jane from California is in two. Just weird. Sometimes, well, sometimes you're not assigned because you left and came back, and then sometimes it's just some strange thing. Yeah, I'm I'm three. Ron, you are one. One. I'll be there in a minute. And Terry, you are three. Yeah, so four and five didn't get affected. Just one, two, and three. Yeah. Oh, and here comes Deborah. So let's see where we're gonna put Deborah. One, two, three, four. One, Let's put Deborah in one. One and see what's going on in the nuclear fusion jazz band. Maybe there's gonna be music. Who knows? Maybe there's gonna be music. I think there's music over here. Uh -oh. At least jazz. Hi team. I'm here to help. Hey. And I brought you, I brought you Deborah. Oh, yes, she did. Hi. Yes. I can barely read this. It's so small. What is that? These are questions. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I can make it bigger. I would be. Oh, is that you? Yeah, that would be great, man. Thank Actually, you. If you, I think if you just do control up arrow, you can make it bigger. Well, it depends on what it is. I think it works <laughs> in Notepad. No, it works in Notepad. No. Okay. I think it does. I haven't used Notepad in years, but. Uh, I always use Notepad. Oh, font. There we go. Uh, yeah, make so, it like 13 or 14 or something. 13 or 14. Closer to the screen, Deborah. 14. <laughs> What's that? Just move closer. <laughs> no, I was trying that. It wasn't really working. I got a frog. Gummy frog. Okay. How's that? Oh, that's better. Okay. Okay. Do you guys know some of these? Because I think I know a couple of them. I know I got okay. it's at maybe it. seven. One is Bugsy Siegel. Yep. Oh, it that was Bugsy right. Siegel. Uh, that I'm was sure. a kid. Really? But he wasn't right. at home. He was at his girlfriend's house and he who's the whose questions are these? Who's the Romero? Romero. These Romero's okay. So uh what what is number one? Bugsy, Bugsy. Siegel. I think. I don't I know. Think I, so too. I put that down as a wild guess because that's the only guy I could come up with. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's the only Jewish gangster I'm aware of. Oh, Z a Siegel, S I E G E L. Yeah. Chemical compound classified as a salt. Chemical as a salt. Oh, that's um, uh, sodium. So, uh, so. Sodium chloride? Sodium chloride. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I pulled that out of my butt. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Ew, stinky. I mean, sodium chloride is literally salt. Yeah. yeah. I, I figured with sodium, it had to be sodium something with the salt. Mm -hmm. but I, that's yeah, that's a salt, not salt. I don't think that's right, but it's as good as I can think of. Yeah, I mean, it could be, it could be a salt of something else, basically. Yeah. Um, Metal soldering flux. I know. So metal yeah, solder, I know. soldering flux is a kind of a gel. The only time I ever did anything like that. Okay. Hide tanning. I don't know any what, of that. Number three. Aren't we on number three? Which uh, which yeah. question are we on? I think we're still. Well, we can leave it for now and come back. Okay. Yeah. What is the name of a sinkhole that forms through subsystem science and factor? Oh, no, I can't. Volcano. Uh, I got the polysomer. Uh, caldera, maybe? 
Okay. Ooh, I like that. That sounds right. Oh, a large mass of intrusive igneous rock layers, larger than 100. Caldera, like that? That's I close enough. I think it starts enough. with, I think it's CA, but that's CA, that. but close enough. Yeah. Susan doesn't spell check. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so if she did, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> it's not that funny, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just laughed at spell. myself. I can't I'm spell. very bad at spelling. So. Well, you're Canadian. You can get away with it. You just would say, well. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can spell everything differently. So I'm not so sure how it's spelled in America. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or you were saying. Any ideas on four? <clears throat> the no. only reason I was thinking of C is that the old diving bells that used to go deep oh. were called bathospheres. Yeah. Which oh, made me think that say. that's batholith. Yeah, okay. I was going to say exactly the same thing. There. Well, that's the only one I heard of. So, <laughs> there. How's that? That works. Process that leads rocks in a river to become round is known as. It could be almost any of those. Yeah. <laughs> well, exfoliation yeah, is like removing layers of skin. I don't think it's used for rocks. Now, that's the least likely one, probably. So yeah. Probably, that's probably what it is, but. <laughs> And hydrologic um, grounding sounds too correct. <laughs> this is, doesn't sound scientific. It sounds like something Romero would throw at us to just make us think it's it. How about this one? Continuous, Continuous impact, impact abrasion. Because I think that I think that one's right. Okay. Okay. I've never heard of any of those. Um, I I have heard of something like that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. The bank bark at three hundred million and ship to London where it was displayed. Oh, um, no, I, oh, it's it's four words, huh? Um, in 1854, Queen Victoria was in was the queen, and this is right before the Civil War in America. Was well, the world's expo the the world's fair in London? I'm wondering if it was one of the um giant redwood trees. But it, it's it's has four a words like four. Yeah, I know. And it looks like it's something of the something. Yeah, I was and thinking the same thing, but that's of and the in the middle, like the but, queen of the forest or something like that. But, well, in big trees, don't they have uh, what's the name? They have a couple of. Yeah, there's like the General Sherman tree yeah. and there's a whole bunch of, of named ones. The Joshua tree, but none of them are four four words. And Bernal. Well, the Joshua tree is, is a different kind of that's, tree. That's a kind of tree, but in, yeah. in, they don't get that big. <laughs> in big no. trees, like they actually have nicknames, like they're yeah. the old man. Mm -hmm. uh, How about where the Mayflower landed or somewhere in that area? And they shipped it to, they shipped the bark to. No, I think i'm pretty sure the point of this was to show how big the tree was and then 18 what's the name of the tree that they drive through that's no longer um, there i don't think mm. it burned down yeah no it's not burned down mm. yeah no it didn't it did yeah but the the tree in the forest the tree fire, died because of course if you remove the bark from a tree it will die <laughs> that, <clears throat> well, i assume they just removed like a ring Right, but that's all it takes. If you take yeah. it all the way around, it, it destroys the cambium layer, and, they, and the, that's where all the water gets into the tree and up to the leaves um, and branches. Right. It's like a, huh? I said I agree. So this was the Victorian time. This is before but 1854. I mean, there was already, you know, the whole country was populated not not like now but <laughs> so it was shipped to london so i assume it's a tree from someplace where it have to travel by not just across the canal like from france to london but no 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 it, it, i'm pretty sure america it, i think it was from yosemite okay 
the but I don't know what the name of the tree was. <laughs> Rip Van Winkle tree. <laughs> That's not enough words, though. <laughs> Rip Van Winkle. I think it's something of the something. Yeah, let's. Of this, of the. Or something get partial something. points for just getting the of the part. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see. War correspondent in World War II. Company raising. King of the forest. I don't know. Grandfather. Once there was a war. That we should. Someone should know that. Which one are you on? Seven or eight? Number eight. Because isn't that Hemingway? Hemingway. Wait. We didn't. We didn't. We skipped seven. Sorry. Yeah. Number of this. The numbers of this species of animal have recovered after being almost on the extension. Is that a they are the largest extant member of the order Carnivora. These wolves. I was thinking of wolves too, but no. Wolves or not? No. it could be. Yeah, it could be. Unless like, they're like um, tigers and lions and bears. Oh my, not bears though. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you know, the, that, well, that European number, wolf, mm -hmm. yeah, wolves. Okay. So um, number eight, Hemingway is a really good answer. Or Steinbeck also was a war correspondent. He was a writer too. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was a book Italy. that he wrote though. I don't that I, that book title sounds familiar, but not necessarily. Well, it was incorporated into. Right, but it would have been his book that they incorporated it into, probably. I didn't know him anyway was a war correspondent. That's he was in the war, and I but I'm not sure if he was a, if he fought it or he was a correspondent in the war. Yeah, I didn't I know. Was, I, I think I, I vaguely heard that he wrote about it, not like in it. Okay. I don't know. I think Hemingway is better than Steinbeck. I know Steinbeck did war correspondence, but I think he was from France and England, not I don't I don't remember Italy being in Italy. No, no, Hemingway was definitely in Italy. Okay, well that makes sense. Good then. That makes more sense. It doesn't mean it's right, but it makes more sense. Okay, number nine is definitely um, the uh, the World's Fair. Uh huh. World's Fairs. Yeah. <clears throat> Did I do that right? Yep. Yep. And then 10, I think it's Cook. Sir Walter, Sir Walter Raleigh, maybe? I, I had Raleigh, Sir Raleigh, that's who it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was beheaded. Going back to seven, though, if it's the largest member of the order carn carnivora, you know, like, like um, I think you started to say maybe it's bears or something bigger. Than I don't know if they're that in the same order. I'm, I'm, and I don't I'm think bears sure. were ever hunted to extinction, almost um, to extinction. Well, like the California California grizzly bear was hunted to yeah, extinction. Yeah, California. Oh, was it? Oh, bear okay. Yeah. Um, but there are some big wolves, like dire wolves. I don't think those exist anymore either. Um, but then there's all all the um, uh, you know, south of the equator carnivores like lions, and then because there's like what panthers and yeah okay they're not that big though i mean i think tigers are the biggest of the big cats probably right can you guys can i interrupt for just a brief second i have a feeling this is a mystery category oh yeah i vaguely see some a pattern but i i don't know if anybody else picks on it so if you okay. want to take a look at it and tell me if you think you see something so i don't and see if it's what i think <clears throat> Are you going to tell us what you think it is? Well, unless somebody just reaches out and says, it's this. But I'm picturing, this is really elite, the Bugs Bunny cartoons with the with the dog, where um, the Looney Tunes. How, where are you? And there's that big dog and he goes out in the field and his name is Sam and he checks the time clock and then the... Um, are you oh, eating those milk duds? He was a sheep dog. Sheep yeah. Dog. No, I forgot I had them. I, they're, they're halfway done, and I forgot until you just said right now that they're my purse. 
Because <laughs> I was going to say, I did not lace them with any weird drugs. So. All right. Not so <laughs> sure about popcorn. that based on that answer. <laughs> I don't remember any batholiths in uh, the in... Looney Tunes cartoons. Well, wasn't there a Hemingway? Oh, I see. And, they, and did they talk about Sir Walter, Walter Riley doing something? And Bugsy Siegel? Bugs. Well, Bugsy. Bugsy. Yeah. And and it seems like there's something to do with the World's Fair. It just feels like it's all from that era of the Bugs Bunny cartoons, but maybe maybe the mystery is something to do with that time that they had of the 40s. Like a well, if you're thinking of, of Looney Tunes, would it be a coyote and not a wolf? I don't know. But I can't believe a coyote would be the largest. They're not. They're small. They're small. Can... No, but it, I can't how think of a wolf. Yeah. Well, where do orders fit in the hierarchy of how they classify animals? I, I can never remember where that yeah, is. Yeah, right. It's I like mean, there's genus, the order, family, all that, and I can never remember what the yeah, order is. Bears are omnivores, though. I don't know that they're in that That's order. True. That doesn't mean they're not, but I don't think they are. So. Got to be careful about the bear necessities. That's oh. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank, you there. Thank you for that. <laughs> Get a hullabaloo out of that. <laughs> Help myself. <laughs> well, I know they've reintroduced wolves, so I mean, yeah, I think that's a pretty safe. Yeah, we have yeah. a wolf sanctuary just north of us. Oh yeah, yeah, it's neat. Oh, I haven't been there cool. in a few years, but that was cool. That was one of the things I wanted to see when we went to um, Yellowstone, but we didn't. Mm. So the <laughs> only one we don't have even a bad guess for yet is six. Other than it's something of the something. Mm. Yeah. Will of the Wisp. <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> no. I think it's something of the forest, though. So it could, could be like Giant of the Forest or. Yeah. I like, I like, like that. that. I like that one. If, if he's going with it, what a lot of people do and making those, those letters the same number of spaces and stuff. Yeah, that seems to be pretty consistent. Yeah. I know the forest. And get off my lap. Uh, <laughs> wife. Have you got a cat? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Aww. Aww. And the cat is there, still on your lap. Look Aww. at that. Oh, what a that pretty kitty. That's Katniss. Katniss. Katniss you know the answer to number six? And somewhere around here is her sister, Primrose. Primrose. <laughs> well, if, if anybody's watched or read the Hunger Games series. No. Those are the two main read, characters. Okay. I actually read the books. Yeah, I read and saw. Yeah. And then I and then I watched the parody of the movies. Have you ever seen the parody of parodies? The I haven't seen yet. Oh, Something tells there. me that's definitely what you would do, Vincent, is to look at the parodies. It's hilarious. I love it. I can imagine. Who who yeah. did it? Just go to YouTube and see it. No, no, it's on um, Netflix. Oh, no, okay. not Netflix. Um, uh, the Canadian uh, what SCTV? No, no, uh, it's still around. Uh, Prime Prime Video, Prime Video. Oh. I yeah. I I have no idea, you guys. It's called the starving, not the starving games, no, not the starving. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. they moved What's it the to Europe. It's, it's the Hungarian. What game. was his name? The Martian? Marvin. Was it Marvin the Martian? Marvin the Martian. Oh, Marvin the Martian, yeah. I used to have a t shirt with him on it. I wonder if one of these has a, has the word Marvin in it. Hmm. Maybe that was Hemingway's middle name. That's right. <laughs> Marvin of the Forest. Or more likely Bugsy Siegel's middle name. <laughs> That's right. Marvin. It's my oldest Marvin brother's middle name. <laughs> I think she named him Bugsy. Oh, it's my baby. So do you want me to do the uh, uh, answers? Yeah. Since I've, since I've got them. So yeah, I'll you might as well yeah. keep track. And here's them. number three. We have three in the house? Yep. Oh, nice. This is our diabetic cat. This is Leo. 
Hi, Leo. So why does he have a collar? Um, he's with a, with a tag. Mainly because his older brother who died a few months ago needed special care, special food. And we've got these um, f feeders that are open based on a chip. Mm. So he and his brother were not chipped because they're too old. And so we have these ARFID um, tags on them to open up the feeders. That makes sense. And yeah, then the other one. Serious sense. But yeah, if you ever have cats that uh, or dogs even that, you know, if you have multiple of them and you need one that has spe needs special food, the other guys are going to go after it or he's going to go after their food. Right. So these these things here, they'll only open to the chip um, on that particular animal. Don't they just push each other out of the way after they one of them opens it? Um, they, he does that a lot. He tries. Yeah, mine would, I know mine would do that. Yeah, yeah mine they, would too. there would be his. So tries. Romero, yeah. If this is a mystery category and I have it figured out, I want to. I, I think I should deserve a. What do you I need deserve? Send, you need to send her some milk duds because nobody believes me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obscure. It is so obscure. Yeah, her, her answer is, is so only, out it's there. It's only making sense in my own mind. The only mystery we have is why she came up with it. <laughs> what is the category? Or Go ahead, the... Susan. Or Bugs Bunny. Hmm. The rest of the team is disavowing any knowledge of this. <laughs> I think I'm only a guest here. But <laughs> if for some reason I got it, I want to be credited for it, you guys. Everybody already knows it's insane, so it's obvious that it's 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 ridiculous. But just just throwing sounds it out good. there, you guys, setting it on record. Sounds, sounds good. <laughs> All right, I, think, I, uh, I take it from his 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 uh, laughing. I don't think I'm right. But we are finished. <laughs> okay, is, so I think I'm going to call back to everyone. Go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I I just do it from here, right? Close all rooms, and then I stay here. Yeah. Or do I leave? I forget. Okay. All right. And if that's not the theme season, we'll give you credit for all of our wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, I hope I got number five right. I'd feel awfully stupid if I did. I don't even know what any of those things are. I don't. Yeah. It, so I it, idea, it would so. just be. A, I would just be throwing a four-sided die. Uh, yeah, I, I think in in science, the scientists make up new terminology every like generation, and they call the same old thing by a new name so they can yes. write a book. Yes, I <laughs> don't doubt that. Um, I like that. So. The rules fair in question nine and the question six are both rules fair like things. And then that's well, six, six is only because it's the Crystal Palace, but that was like years after the World's Fair was over. Because World's Fair was in 1851, this was 1854. So the Crystal Palace was, I think, started as a World's Fair. Yeah, it was. It, it was the. Th Fair. It was the at, in the 1851 World's Fair, but obviously the building stayed around after. Uh, right, and in time for this, in time for this to happen, and then right. he's got Elizabeth down here in number ten, Elizabeth the mm -hmm. first. So that's another London reference, and then I mean, you know, England. I, okay, it's just a stretch, but it just feels like it's all tied together somehow with i don't know about that science stuff but this other stuff the last question so um so she was interviewed on fresh air today by terry uh, i forget terry's last name right now gross. 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 gross thank you anyway so if you haven't see if you haven't listened to the ultra um oh rachel maddow podcast yeah rachel maddow oh. was interviewed today by terry gross about it fresh air it, Spielberg by the right. Yeah, and I was That's, just about to give up on NPR. Was that true? And, and, 
Well, that's that's on our NPR right now, but I'd rather be here. Oh, yes. <laughs> would you say, Wendy? Uh, well, I was just I had just about given up on NPR because somebody whose opinion I respect has been rapping on it, and I, and I've had my own ins and outs with NPR, but I started listening to to this interview because I've been real interested in ultra. And um, and I am horrified by it. And so I figured I would listen to this. I listened to part of it when I was walking Jackie this evening. Yeah. And then you can listen to the full episode at uh, freshair.com. Okay. I just wrote it down. I, I'll do it later. That's yeah. right. Thank and you, you can pull it up. Uh, they have uh, archived episodes there. Did anybody say, somebody say Spielberg's already bought the rights to it? Yep. yep. That's what they talked about today. Oh, man, let me tell you guys, if you have not yet listened to the episodes on um, called Ultra by Rachel Maddow, Lord, man, this is Maddow, good. Maddow, Rachel Maddow. Maddow. Yeah, not oh, like, yeah. I mean, just remember, sometimes a broken clock is right twice a day. Uh, a day. And I am the broken clock. And I'm if, saying. <laughs> if it stopped, is, it would be right twice a day. Yeah. 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 And if you listen to ultra that she explains or like there it's it all of the information has been in the library of congress all this time yeah even the video the audio all right but they never taught us that stuff in school no <laughs> it's i wonder of, why I wonder, okay go ahead romero and if they had maybe we wouldn't have the mess we're in right now yeah it wouldn't have made right. any difference well, but at least it, it comforts me to know that we we survived it then so we can survive it yeah, now. I think well, even, even if we know history, we still repeat it. The the situations are, uh, are rather different. Uh, All right. They're, so, they're uh, different, but they're not. They yeah, rhyme. Different you know, in the ways that they're different. Mark Twain not. said they rhyme. Uh, they rhyme, yeah. yes. Okay, go ahead, let Romero speak. All right. So I'm going to share my screen for the answers, and then I'm going to post the answers at the at the end. Band page. All right, so random Ooh. facts. Uh, so, all right, so num number one, uh, the Jewish American gangster, uh, Foxy Siegel. All he, uh, right. He played all a right. role in the building of the Flamingo Hotel. There's, we're, there's faith in the. Oh, that's, that's a hotel where we were. Uh -huh, that's right, yes, in the is. top floor, the penthouse. Yeah. All right, number two, the chemical compounds. So I, I tried to find a lot of other chemicals that had that were using these things, and I wasn't able to. But I didn't do an exhaustive search. So if you can show that there's another chemical that also does all these things, then I will accept that. But uh, what I was looking for was uh, borax. Oh yeah, oh, borax. And that's the uh, the valley they used to uh, mine borax. Oh my yeah. God, you guys! Have you figured you know out the theme? Susan? I've got the theme yep. now. Yeah. My my idea was so off. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good, Romero. The theme that was their Vegas vacation. Yeah. What gave it away to me was that it was a cleaning a cleaning compound. Now I know one of her answers was wrong. Yeah. Oh, pooey. Okay. Uh, number three, the answer is uh, Caldera. Oh, uh, yay. So this is, is uh, me in the long. We're in the Long Valley Caldera, ah. in California. Oh, look! They, they were. They went into the uh, the into hot springs. Hot springs. Who took the picture? He took it. Uh, I did, yeah. I hope you blurred stuff. Are you <laughs> naked? Are you naked? Naked. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Hat on. Faith has a hat on. <laughs> you know, and underneath has a skin color she did. Hat. <laughs> That's a skin colored cap. Hey, right Romero. Yeah. Romero, yeah. would you yeah. accept bor boric acid for number two? Uh, I think they're different things, right? Or well, yeah. You want a salt. Is it considered one of the salt? salt? Yeah. yeah, this yeah, this one is the finest of salt. Yeah, boric, boric acid, acid is it, not a salt. But it's yeah. borax is a, a salt of boric acid, so it had right. to be that specific. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Sorry, team. You're fired. All right. All right. Uh, number four. Uh, so the large igneous rock. Uh, so I, I was hoping that somebody uh, knew Greek, uh, but it's uh, C, batholith, or like deep. Yes. So I put deep. I think bath is like, I mean, I, I don't know Greek, but I read that bath is like uh, a Greek for deep. So let me. Oh. Uh, it begins yeah. with the letter B. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so these are the other ones that, you know, lacolith, lafolith, and then uh, facolith. And this is the Sierra Nevada Bethel. Wow. So it was C? Oh, well, half stone. Half stone, yeah. yeah. C? Half stone is part of the Sierra Nevada. Charlie, yeah, yeah, the answer is C, yeah. <coughs> uh, all right, so uh, number five, the process that leads rocks in order to become brown is known as A, transport-induced abrasion. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, we didn't get it. One of the abrasions. Not, yeah, all, all uh, A, B, and C all make sense. They do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, uh, I think I made all of those up. There is exfoliation is a thing in geology. Right. I don't think there's anything as layer exfoliation. <laughs> and this oh, is in that, Prince Canyon. Like beautiful. Don't you want to just dip your toes in that? It's cold. Yes, cold. but it was really, really cold. Yeah. <laughs> So really we're cold. naked here, huh? Yeah. But where is this? Where is this? This river? is in Kings, Kings Canyon. Kings Canyon National Park. Kings Canyon. Which river is yeah. it? Uh, I, uh, I don't remember what the name of the river. There's only one river that goes along the, the highway in Kings Canyon, and this was uh, like we stopped and uh, took pictures. It might be the Kern. Yeah. Yeah, I think in, in the Yosemite's it's a Merced, I think. But yeah, you, I think you're right. It might be Kern. I'll look it up. Okay. Uh, number six, uh, the, the tree that they took off the bark. It's called, uh, see, Mother of the Forest. Mother oh, of the oh, Forest. We almost got it. So do we get, par oh, do we get partial frozen. credit for getting the of the? Well, we had forest, forest, didn't we? <laughs> we even we had, had all of the forest. forest. Oh, we, we have up the forest, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Took the forest. We were, we, we, we were trying to figure it out. Why were they taking the bark off the tree and sending it? Because it was to too prove, to take the whole tree. It, mostly it was to prove that these trees existed. Yeah. There was a lot of people, like they brought cross sections of these trees and people thought, you put two trees together. There's no trees on earth that are this big. Ah. Yeah, this was uh, big. This was bigger than... Uh, the biggest tree right now, uh, Sherman. Yeah. The General Sherman yeah, tree. General Sherman. Yeah, General, General Sherman. Sherman tree. Yeah. And, but it was not the biggest tree. It, there was another one that was bigger uh, than this one. So that would yeah. be the father of the forest? Uh, so we were, we were close. We had grandmother of the forest. We had master of the forest. We had <laughs> the prince we had giant, giant of the, of the forest. forest. We, we even had the... it start with them. Will yeah. you accept yeah. giant yeah. sequoia tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, only two letters off. I mean, no, we were there. Is. We also came up. They with didn't it. talk about this one. We also came well, up. With this one is actually not in Sequoia National Forest or National Park. This one is like far away. Uh, yeah, but it's. A I don't think that's yeah. fair. <laughs> oh, Lord of the Rings. All right. So the next one is uh, an ele elephant seal. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Oh, we didn't yeah. even think. Oh, and yeah, they're no, they're they're just the the land mammals. <laughs> yeah, they're part of the the order. You know, kind of, uh, yeah. things that look like dogs and uniforms. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next one, the writer that served in World War II was uh, John Steinbeck. I uh, told you. Oops. Oh my gosh. No. Uh, Ooh. I said, I, so I think good. it's Steinbeck, and then ah. and then Ron said, I think it could be Hemingway, and I said, you know, you're probably right. It's probably Hemingway not Hemingway. I mean, it's probably not Steinbeck. It's probably Hemingway. And I took that. No, I didn't take that picture. You did take that picture. I did take that picture. That's, no, oh, no, yeah. I took it because that's your hand in the side. Yeah, I'm in. Your... I'm in the picture. <laughs> that is my hand ah. to the right of the picture. 
But this I is feel really. I feel really bad because John Steinbeck was one of my dad's best friends. I, I feel really <laughs> bad because we put Hearst down, and I forgot that we <laughs> did everything in reverse order. Ah, <laughs> and this is and and this, you guys, for who don't know, this house is only a few blocks away from my house. Yeah, and there's a picture of I think Wendy uh, uh, in my phone somewhere of that on that steps. Yeah, yeah there is a picture of Wendy uh, there. Okay. It's a beautiful house right down the street from me. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a nice picture, Faith, that we took it with a big round. Thank you. I have the best ca camera on a cell phone right now. So, all right. And then uh, the next one, the current every five years now. Uh, so it's the the World's Fair. Yay! Mm -hmm. And this is uh, San Francisco World's Fair that was. Oh, yeah. uh, a celebration of the completion of the Panama Canal. Oh. I got that right, but I didn't put it together with your trip. All right. And then the, the last one, number 10, uh, this explorer is uh, Sir Walter Raleigh. Yay. Yep. Yay. And that's him. Why is it? What, what was that a part of your trip? Good job, team. That's where we, we live. We he invented. Up, he invented after, after Japan. Oh, and this yeah, is back he's, home again. Th this is back yeah. home. This is if you notice, he's wearing our hockey team's jersey in the one picture, and he's wearing his pride boa when it's Pride <laughs> Month. He also invented Depends. A lot of people don't know that. He made yeah. them fashionable. He own, did. Own your urinary tract problems. <laughs> <laughs> why don't Look we have, why don't we have our own right tv picture. show why don't we, we have a million diaper. people following us on on youtube why why <laughs> good <laughs> taste very very good category <laughs> romero very good yes yeah. thank you and, 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 and it's I a very it good was... idea too i'm gonna document one of my vacations and do a category well, thanks for telling us that. <laughs> we're gonna follow. well and in the know, future in the future okay. But you know what? You know what got me is I thought for some reason <laughs> I thought it was all tied together with Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes. <laughs> and Deborah said, "What are you smoking? <laughs> You're hallucinating." Well, I thought everything began with the letter B for a while. And that's why we guess that batholith because it began with the letter B. No other reason. Oh, I well, only I figured it out. Pattern. There had to be something. Well, we only we only figured it out because Leonard was mentioned the elephant seal. And I already figured out Sir Walter Raleigh and Bugsy Siegel and knew like, well, Bugsy Siegel is the name of the steakhouse and the restaurant and the hotel we were at. <laughs> yeah. We were going to have a yeah, seance this... for him up in the top floor. Uh, Mark, a uh, few few psychons ago when we were at the Flamingo, we were trying to figure out how we can rent that so we could do a seance up there for Bugsy Siegel. Wouldn't that have been cool? <laughs> Especially if he showed up. Well, of course Indeed. he would show up. Yeah, Mark was doing the seance. He would definitely show yeah, the challenge with this was this uh, was uh, thinking up of questions that uh, would not give Faith uh, an unfair advantage. Yeah, very good. Uh, Obviously, it uh, there. did well. Good job. I like that. I like that. that I was love that it was photos. I love that you put it all together with your trip. Like a very good idea. Thank you very much. Was a lot of so let's go to the floors. We're fission for fusion. Five. Hey, something clever. Seven. Seven. Team three virtual trading cards. Now only ninety nine dollars. Four. No NFT for me. Seven. I had faith on that team. That's why <laughs> she know she had inkling. And nuclear fusion jazz band, which was Romero's own team. Did you sink it? Five. Not bad. Average of 5.6. Good job. Very good. Did you One post it like yet, for Romero? Yeah, and put them in chat. Uh, let, me, let me do that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Very, very good. <clears throat> very different. Very clever. Okay. Yeah, very creative. It makes uh, a good good yeah, that was... template for future ones. That was nerve wracking, but we actually did, your, did better uh, than I expected because we yeah. really were guessing on a lot of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like the way the answers had you guys' pictures and stuff in it. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I love having yeah. pictures. Anytime you can show off. Pictures. Oh, was that who was in the pictures? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like how they they had the old pictures and then them in them too. 
<laughs> and the Steinbeck one was a really obscure stuff because we were like, I don't think he was in Italy. I think he was just in France and 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 um, England. And yeah. I, uh, you know, we were like, we're you know we're used to a lot more generic stuff. <laughs> okay, so Karen, my dear, my lovely dear, a female dear, Ray, no. like a ray of, of sun. No, a dear, a female, a female dear. dear, a female All dear. Right. So thank you very much, um, Susan. To, I would like to start with a uh, the words of Thich Nhat Han. Looking deeply into your tea, you see that you are drinking fragrant plants that are the gift of Mother Earth. You see the labor of the tea pickers. You see the luscious tea fields and plantations in Sri Lanka, China, and Vietnam. <clears throat> you know that you are drinking a cloud. You are drinking the rain. The tea contains the whole universe. So says uh, the late Thich Nhat Hanh. Today's uh, category is tea time. And that is uh, in honor of the fact that today is International Tea Day. I should have known that. I should have known. <laughs> Karen got, yeah. <laughs> should have so, looked to see what the, what the, day, uh, the day was. There you go. So okay, uh, question. Question number. Uh, right, let let no. Peggy mute us. Oh, people are cool. That's fine. Uh, okay, number one is muting in two, three, one. All right, Karen, unmute. So, um, question one uh, is: Tea reached Europe in the 16th century, but people were using ceramic teapots in Asia and the Middle East beginning blank years ago. And your choices are A, 11,000, B, 16,000, C, 21,000. The next question, question number two is, according to legend, in 2732 BC, Emperor Shen Yun discovered T blank. Do you fill in that blank with A, when there was a failed assassination attempt using a mixture of plants presented to him as a soup, or B, when it was, this is not letting me slide down, there we go, uh, or B, when it was gifted to him along with his third wife, or C, when leaves from a wild tree blew into his pot of boiling water. Which one fills in that blank? Welcome, uh, Alan. Hi, Alan. It's tea time. You're just in time for tea. Great. I'll give okay. you the first two questions to you right now. So number three, tea in England was originally blank is that blank filled in by saying A, suspected to be a temptation by the devil, B, an expensive product that only the elite could afford, or C, considered to only be suitable for the lower classes to encourage their increased labor. Number four. The, the T Clipper, Cuddy Sarks, this is worded really poorly. Um, Cuddy Sark is a T Clipper, it's a boat. The T Clipper, Cuddy Sarks, hold, could carry blank tea chests at a time. That's enough to make blank cups of tea in one cargo. Uh, is that enough for to make 10,000 cups of tea? Excuse me. 10,000 chests of tea, making 200 million cups of tea. Sorry, is that A, 10,000 tea chests, which make 200 million cups of tea? Or is that B, 1,000 tea chests, making 100,000 cups of tea? Or C, 1,000 tea chests, making 200 million cups of tea? All righty, number five. This is not a multiple choice. This is a simply fill in the blank. 
and number five uh, says blank drank tea so regularly that she substituted a large bell-shaped silver teapot for the tiny Chinese teapots. The earliest tea party, excuse me, tea service dates to her reign. Fill in the blank with the name of that person. Okay, back to multiple choice for number six. Number six. During the 18th century, tea gardens became popular. Ladies and gentlemen would take their tea together outdoors surrounded by entertainers. These tea gardens made tea all the more fashionable to drink and they were blank. Fill in the blank with A, successful despite the strong opposition by the church. B, important places for men and women to meet freely without scandal or criticism. Or C, the origin of, quote, taking to sun, end quote, for health purposes. Number seven. In 1840, afternoon tea was introduced, sorry, was introduced in England by uh, Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford. She blanked, and so the trend started. Is that blank filled in with she? She blank, not blanked. She blank, and so the trend started. Fill in that blank with A. She was superstitious and believed the number four to be lucky. She considered the best tea, B. She considered the best tea was brewed by her most senior attendant, who rose from his daily rest about four o'clock. Or C. She would become hungry around four o'clock in the afternoon. Number eight, teacups did not always have handles. At first, the English made cups without handles, influenced by blank. Is it A, traditional Chinese tea bowls, or B, Turkish coffee cups, or C, medicinal dram containers used by royal doctors? Number nine. Drinking tea is less likely to produce a, quote, caffeine crash uh, than drinking coffee. This is because blank, which results in a gentler increase of caffeine in your system and a longer period of alertness with no crash at the end. Is it because, A, people have a tendency to sip tea slowly, uh, more slowly than coffee? Is it... B, respiratory function slows somewhat during consumption and blood flow decreases slightly. Or C, the high levels of antioxidants in tea slow the absorption of caffeine. Okay, and then the final one is a fill in the blank, not a multiple choice. And it is, the art of reading tea leaves is called blank. Any questions? Oh, I saw Spock and I thought someone has their hand raised. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin has his hand up. <laughs> Spock, do you have a question? <laughs> All right. Already go to your rooms. <laughs> this is, is going to be hard, I think. Uh, but I'm going. It's just logical. Just, <laughs> yes, Spock. Okay, so Alan is our newest recruit and he is going to go into the team who strategically only got four so that was really brilliant on team uh team 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 three virtual okay team three virtual trading cards 99 dollars each so good job team three you, you, you get got alan one. okay i'll be in two Hello, team. Hello. I'm Hello, recording in progress. Because I, I, I'm watching Faith, and it's bugging me that she's so productive over there. And it's bugging me because I need to do this, too. So behind. And it's almost Christmas. And my cat's 
won't do it for me. So I have no idea how old T is. It's I mean, I, I don't know. It's old, right? Because I mean, Yeah, but I mean, all three choices, 11,000, 16,000, and 21,000 are old. So I don't know. I would guess the, the oldest, but I really don't know. I think the oldest. Yeah. Go with I, the oldest? I'm just here to mess with you guys because what's yeah. the I think it's been around for a while. You had a so seven she, last time. Yeah, but that wasn't, that was tied for the highest. Yeah, well, still. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It, Seems like it's really a long time ago because uh, they talk about the like the the dynasty. What was the Chen dynasty or like like Chang. in the in the murder mysteries and stuff? I think there's a Sherlock Holmes that talks about these things, the Wu Wan taps and stuff. And they're just it seems like it's really old. Yeah, it's been around for a while. <laughs> well, and they used it kind of as a religious. Um, production for a long time oh is that so right? how did uh they have how the did tea. tea get discovered they have tea houses a failed assassination the attempt blew in the hot water <laughs> gifted to him along with his third wife or but then that's not discovered then, right because the person that gave it to him just to... i doubt it'd be a i think c Maybe okay. that one in turn might be popularized. Cause, yeah, because that would be according to legend. Yeah. I don't think A, but B or C is fine with me. Can you show what you're making, Faith? Yeah, I can show you a finished one. So. You? They're called mug rugs. So you put your coffee cup and like a little snack on the side and yeah. Ew. And you roll it up? Or no, you, you just lay it. Oh, it's for your count. Oh yeah. It's, it's a, a mug bed. rug. Mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got a whole bunch of placemats in your house. I remember now. Yep. Very cute. So this is Christmas theme, like there's Nutcracker and the 12 days of Christmas. And so cute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. So it's when the emperor discovered it, not when it was discovered. So it could okay. be B. B sounds right. Could be. Okay. Originally. Yeah, B B sounds good. I think okay. on question three, I like C. Oh. I mean, it's just plant in boiling water. And I could I would think say, B. Here, just eat this. <laughs> yeah, but I would think B because remember, it had to come through the um, Silk Road. And it's like... And Spices yeah. and that. Well, that's a good point too. Yeah, I would think B. Yeah. I mean, so you get to drink cheap. Tea? Yeah, you get to drink cheap wine and mulled wine and mead and all the other stuff that we make. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how much tea did the Clipper Cutty Sark hold? No idea. It involves numbers on that question. I would just throw a dart at it. Thinking about the number of chests that that the Cuddy Sark held. And how mm -hmm. much so I can't believe that a tea chest is only going to make a hundred okay. cups of tea. So that gets rid of B. Mm -hmm. Um, ten thousand. Wouldn't that get rid of A? No, the proportion is different there. Okay, but it still could be wrong. But I can't believe that uh, the ship could hold ten thousand tea chests. That's just huge. So. I'm going to go, I would go with C. C. Sounds good. Which is uh, just falling victim to the logical fallacy of uh, personal inc incredulity. 
Just because I didn't believe it doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> Earliest tea service dates from her reign, and she drank so much. I would Victoria. Think, yeah, Victoria. Mm -hmm. You think an older queen? No, queen. that seems late. I put it back like Elizabeth. So. Elizabeth one. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. Yeah, but we're talking tea service, like where the British would have yeah. afternoon I think tea. Yeah, was one that established all this fra fra that the. You're right. Um, it could be. It could be Victoria. Yeah. yeah. You don't think it would be Elizabeth the first? No. Well, certainly not Elizabeth the second. No. But that's because there's. Helpful. I still haven't seen the movie, um, the one where Victoria. Queen Victoria befriends like the Indian. Oh yeah, guy. Oh. So that would make sense. I haven't seen that either. What was it called? Um, Abdul Victoria. Yeah, Abdul and Victoria. Yeah. Victoria and Abdul. That's it. it it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. I may watch it next week. <laughs> but it would sound like Victoria because she was like that. She started a lot of traditions. Christmas trees. They, yeah. White wedding gowns. White wedding gowns. Right, she sure did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So everybody agrees with Victoria? Sure, why not? Okay with it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I would think six would be important places to meet for men and women because they did a lot of segregated stuff back then yeah. women could go to bars mm -hmm. and and blah 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 mm -hmm. I, would, I would think it would be a place yeah. kind of that would make sense for I men think, and yeah I, I agree i don't think the church would have had an opposition to, to tea to drinking tea you know <clears throat> so b yes Six. I don't. For oh. number seven, I think A. Really? Yeah, because I don't think no, B would. She would not let her most senior staff rise at four o'clock and still keep them employed. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just. I've but seen enough. Becoming that hungry Abby. at. Becoming hungry at four in the afternoon. That one does that, make sense. That I, does make sense as well. Is that what they can see? IT? Hmm? IT? Is that what they call it? Yeah, high? that's one high T. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Do we want to go with C? I hope yeah. So. I think in eight, I think it's B. Turkish coffee cups. Seems like I've seen Turkish coffee cups be handled with. They're a little teeny. Yeah. Mm hmm. Demotasi cups. Sure. Yeah. You don't think it's the tea bowls? Because if they had the Chinese teapots, wouldn't they also have the little tea bowls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it seems obvious, but maybe obvious that's... isn't always wrong. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is it always wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I think it could be either. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, let me ask, do you guys know 10? No. I'm going to ask Mark. Oh. So drinking tea is less likely to produce a caffeine crash than drinking coffee. Tea. It's, it's liptomancy. <laughs> 
Well, it's going to be grothy, liptography. <laughs> Any method of. Could it be the antioxidants in it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Antioxidants are blamed for everything. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, does tea slow your respiratory function? I have no idea why it would. I, not, not that I've noticed. Have to pee all the time makes you have to get up all the time. You need that extra exercise. And well, they recommend tea when you have an upper respiratory um, infection. They recommend drinking tea. So well, that's just because drinking. it's hot water. Are you drinking some tea, Bob? Because I kind of want to go downstairs and make some tea. I know. <laughs> Making me thirsty. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for Jane to put some light on the subject. Light? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we want to come up with number nine? I'm, I would just, I'd say C, but mm. mostly by rectal inspiration. <laughs> Can rectal. antioxidants slow the absorption of caffeine? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Antioxidants well, there's can do everything. Uh, Susan, you okay, can let's go for it. So Susan, what doctors. is reading tea leaves? Oh, ancient. They said, yeah. <laughs> said and, that's, and it made sense to me so what, what is did it? he say ancient 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 the art of reading tea leaves is oh no it's called oh yeah i said i had i i didn't read it what's the term right. for it okay something so that's a different question Let me up oh, we came up with lipton graphy or whatever it is <laughs> lipton nancy lipton nancy tetliology Yeah, Mansi is um, what you use. It, it would be Mansi if it's used for casting a spell. It's Graphy oh, it if it's used reading. For, for reading. Okay. Okay. He says he doesn't know, but he thinks it's something that a Mansi, something but I'm a Sansi. But Nancy. Yeah, it's, it's Graphy, graphy. not Mansi. Something. Yeah. Like yeah. What is the answer you say? Well, we we got the the suffix. The question is, what's <sighs> yeah, I don't know what the what the right fancy word is. Stundus. Stundus, Karen. We've had long conversations about stuff, and you've got you've got Jane. And you've got Bob and Faith all about to go <laughs> and go get a big thing of tea. <laughs> Bob's, Bob's drinking tea now. I had some decaffeinated tea. I have it for breakfast, but that's it. Tea really helps when you're singing. It's better than right. I. Yeah. Is it because it's hot or because of the, yeah. of the yeah. liquid, the, uh, the alcohol you put in it? <laughs> we call those hot toddies you top it off or something yeah it, it, it works well we're almost done how's everybody else doing karen i don't think she can hear us can you hear the oh, broadcast the message come through no. no okay not that we noticed only if it was so I put I put Lipton Graphy for 10 unless somebody Lipton, comes up Lipton with I'm yes. sure that's wrong, but it's better than a blank. That's what we yes. Yeah. One minute till one minute to go. So then you better start closing the rooms because our, our count is now two minutes. Because the timer's two minutes. Mm -hmm.
There we go. Okay. That. Did we get an answer for everything, you guys? Except for 10. Well, we have an answer for 10, but yeah, we're pretty I put sure it's wrong. Graphy. It's crap, but okay. Crapography. Craptography. Art of reading tea leaves is called. So what is tea leaf reading called? We don't know yet. We're still trying to come up with the answer. Oh, they were, they were Harry reading. Potter did they say? Yeah, they yeah they read it in Harry Potter. Cle so that, clemency. That... What was the class that she took where they did the art of reading the tea leaves? Oh well, it was done with that woman with the big glasses. It was Professor yeah. Trelawney. Trelawney, was... yeah, and they did. I don't Trelawney, know. Was, um... Yeah, but you're right. Uh, they uh, did talk it? about it, and then they yeah, saw Grim. Sure. It was a Grim. Yeah, cup. yeah, and she the told Grim. her she was full of crap. <laughs> was it tassography? Yeah, it's a cup. Yeah. Let's do that then, maybe. Tassography. I tassography. remember. Remember that that it had this, the same initial letter as the teacher. Oh yeah, got a memory. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, obscure but that is that is way trivial for me little <laughs> too trivial for me who is it i can't I think of the actress's name that played trelawney yeah emma emma not no emma watson played hermione but emma the one who also because yeah. there's the Castilian. Yeah, it was the Castilian, Castilian Spanish. Uh, so yeah. there were a lot of things that she's like, I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. That was Hi, hard. Karen. That picture. Hi. Okay. Everybody here? Hello. Oh, I recognize that picture. What's it from? Yeah. Is it's that my backyard? Paula and I came up to Salinas. And uh, that was in front of the Steinbeck house. Oh, oh, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Like cool. I say, it's really nearby, so it's kind of a thing if people have ever. We're gonna have to go visit next time we're down there. And we were just they... walked over yeah. there. So. Were they home? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually closed that day. <laughs> no, we got in. Oh no, I went with Jay. No, we didn't. And Paula. We, didn't. we went in. Yeah, I was able to go. Yeah, with Jay, with like. It was closed, but the guy who was going to open it saw us waiting, and he's, "Hey, I'll just let you in. Didn't charge nice. us or anything." It was really nice. I nice. gotta say, I gotta say, Karen, I'm really teed off about this category. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, come on! You're channeling your inner Vincent. Hey, Carl, I bet you got it in the bag. <laughs> Later on. <laughs> now, don't be Later stirring up the... trouble here. <laughs> Steeping. Stop steeping, Carl. Oh. <laughs> oh. You are so clever. I, I can He's feel trouble bad. brewing. Oh, oh. oh. oh no. Oh, <laughs> these these, these bad puns and interesting facts about tea are offered by the Royal Museum's Greenwich in, in the UK. And uh, here are some answers. Okie dokie. So um, what is the answer to one? Uh, how, how long ago was that? And hopefully it, but there were enough clues if you don't know anything about T between all of them to kind of go back and then correct some of your answers. There were little hints throughout. But anyway, it's A, 11,000. Uh -oh. oh, I guess that. And nobody yeah. said. Oh. You got it. Okay. And you got we're a bad team. Yeah, we're Vincent. sorry, Vincent. <laughs> oh, and, well. And uh, that was for one. Okay, one. Okay. So the answer to, to number two. Answer to number two. How, what was the origin? The answer is C. When leaves from a wild tree blew into his yeah, pot right. of boiling water. Now some oh, of you. Come on. Now some of you may be thinking, <laughs> but wait, tea, uh, tea is a plant, not a tree. Actually, uh, Camellia sinensis, C A M E L L I A, second word S I N E N S I S, Camellia sinensis can grow up to forty-five feet tall. 
they prune them and they trim them. And actually there are uh, different types of plants as well, but there is a tree, there is a tea tree. So if that threw you off. Um, That's where you get tea tree oil. There you go. Well, also so, there, there was a, um, the part of the question said it, it's a legend. So, <laughs> so, it, it, so it doesn't have to be real. Story. Great, good idea. Number three, um, what, you know, so what is the deal with, uh, with tea when it first came? It actually was B, an expensive product that uh, only the elite could afford. Yeah, you guys are, I it got imported from all they, over they the place. They talked me so. out of it. Very good, you guys. Okay, mm -hmm. now this one wasn't very fair because um, at first I started with kind of ratios. So there would be, but there's no rhyme or reason to it. You just have to know that the cut that the cutty Sark was really huge. If you know oh, that, what? if you know that, you get the answer to this because otherwise the proportions don't give you a hint. Nothing gives you a hint. It was ten thousand chests of tea. I would never think two hundred million cups. I mean, That's it's really a, a big deal. Big ship. Money, 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 money. Plus, we don't know how big the tea chests were either. So. That's 10 thousand anything called a chest is going to be big yeah, yeah. yeah that's true uh, um we, anyway just ask dolly parton okay <laughs> oh. no. but you would have to know that you know the cutty sark is big okay and for this one <clears throat> again, looking back at um uh you know that we're kind of talking about england here and so forth it was in fact queen anne oh Oh. oh, oh! And I had mentioned Queen Anne, but I didn't think that she would be the queen that did. That. She was the last reigning queen before Queen Victoria. And we were one. We were one queen off. Then. Yeah. <laughs> one queen. Okay. A queen once removed. Yeah. And so there, there were these other things. And keep in mind that everything's a multiple choice. Uh, you know. Um, there was no pattern this time. Sometimes I put a pattern to give you hints and stuff. I didn't do that this time. But so what about these tea gardens? They were important places for men and women to meet freely without scandal or criticism. That makes sense. Yep. I'm sure people found a reason to make it scandalous and criticize it anyway. Oh, they're probably just oh, gossips. Yeah. They were probably big gossips during this time and it got that. Yeah. That's what and, was bad about it. And why did Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, uh, begin uh, afternoon tea at that time? Well, it's simply because she would become hungry around Yay. four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, wh why no handles? Why, you know, what was England trying to do there that they? Um, they were trying to increase the sales of burn cream. <laughs> <laughs> that and uh, traditional uh, Chinese tea bowls did not have him. Okay, number nine. Uh, why do you have less of a crash? Um, which of these reasons? I mean, there, uh, there are other reasons, but which of these reasons uh, uh, have something to do with not having that crash and it is the the um antioxidants slow the absorption right. of caffeine i recommend tea to you not sweetened tea just uh some tea maybe put a tiny bit of maple syrup or something in it if you need it but really there's quite a variety and you can still get your caffeine and it's much uh better it's better for you so wean yourself off you know start drinking tea a certain time of day or something but just use it to wean off coffee and i think you'll be happy and also you can put uh, milk in it and you like milk and sugar it tastes real good paula, paula does that right we did that here's, here's my censored paula. reaction to wean yeah. yourself off coffee <laughs> <laughs> <There's Anna. laughs> take it out of my cold Dead hands. No. Coffee's <laughs> <laughs> not that bad for you. I don't it's drink really, coffee, so I wouldn't. It depends so, how much it, you drink. It's pretty hard on your kidneys. Uh, anyway, okay. Um, nothing personal. Okay, go for it. Um, all right. So what now? Now, the art of tea of reading tea leaves is called blank. 
bullshit. Now, I, yeah. That's what I, I said. Say, before you say this, I want to say I am open to, uh, well, I'll tell you these answers first and then I'll qualify it. The answer I was looking for was uh, tass, uh, tassiography. There However, you go. I will also accept uh, tassiomancy, tassology, tassiology. Further, I am open to creative, skeptically inspired answers, such as if you wrote bullshit, you got the right answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I said woo. So, but yeah. the first thing I said was bullshit. Yeah. Leonard said, I know it starts with a T because it's the same initial as uh, Professor Trelawney. <laughs> well, we said, we said, said tissography, but we were close. Can, can okay. that be okay? You get yeah. it. Yeah, we, I okay. yeah, we get it. Yeah. So. so we had bullshit and teography. Yeah. Okay. Geography. <laughs> it's not lipidography. And I think someone wrote uh, divination, but divination is any any kind of That's attempt a, to, yeah, uh, yeah. to predict a feature. Yeah. Yeah. category um anyway but so that's oh, a that's creep. a gimme unless you um said is a realistic way to run your life or anything like that you get no points <laughs> that will take away points from other rounds yeah. Yeah. That's that's fun. Fun. I like the that. problem with this one is that i gave up tea a long time ago <laughs> Um, that was so, good. Thank you, Karen. That so was good. Let's go to your score. Was fun, I'm going to give you a link. Here's a link right here if you want to know about the um, Royal Museums and the afternoon tea they have at the Cuddy Star in the Cuddy Sark's Iron Copper Clad Hulk. If you Hull, if you are ever there. Um, What's there a Sark? Sark. Is that a thing? I think it's, a, it's an old time thing for shark. Shark? I think it is. I can't. It's been a long time. I've heard the name uh, of the ship. I've never heard of why it's called a. I've heard of the scotch. I, was just yeah. say, I think it's so, just. Yeah, the boat doesn't look that big on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, the scores. That's, that's what I said about the ship. <laughs> Let's see. It looks bigger when you get to the bottom of the bottle and you're laying with your <laughs> nose right looks staring at the label. When you're in the gutter. According to Wikipedia, the ship was named after Cuddy Sark, the nickname of the witch Nanny D in Robert Burns' 1791 poem, Tam O'Shanter. Wow. Huh. Okay. Yeah. My husband right. recites that and, poem. And, and didn't we all know that and just not remember? Oh, yeah. I, it was on the tip no. of my tongue. All right, so let's go over to screen share. And let's see how we're doing. We have a tie right now. We have two teams that are vying for, you know, going to take off. Now let's see if anybody caught up with them. That means that they're going to have to come down a little bit in points and somebody's going to have to do really well. And I gave Alan to team three because they were strategic enough to get the lowest score on the first round. Clever. Let's see if it pays off. We'll start with them. Team three yeah. virtual trading cards. Ninety nine. We actually, we actually had six on the first round, except we changed two of our answers. But oh. this time we got eight. Oh. Well, there you go. Ooh. Look at that. You're in the lead. Calm. For a minute. Don't believe it for a while. Okay. So nuclear fusion jazz band. We got um, seven. Um, okay. Yes. Not embarrassing. And we're, tie. we're fission for fusion. Six. Okay. So now let's see. These teams are going to have to go down a little bit so we can keep it up. Okay. Something clever. Nine. Okay. That's oh, not not down. All right. Not quite right. No NFT for me. Let's see if they can make it a tie. Five. Uh oh. Well, somebody has just taken the massive lead. Ooh. Ooh. Which is really smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made a lot of really good guesses. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very good. So let's do our team picture. Let's get a photo. A photo. photo. You get, your, get your shiny, sunny, smiley faces on screen. Put down your stuff. Okay. And Paula is looking okay. Everybody looks good. Well, ex with the exceptions of the people who know better. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, and three. Merry Christmas. 
<laughs> and a happy new year. Oh, we'll have to do that. Um, what was the uh, what was the topic of the uh, the first round? Things that Alan don't know. <laughs> so that could be any of them. We'd we still be on that, that one now. Think things related to Faith and Romero's vacation. Yeah. Vacation. It was fun. It, it was, was really fun. It was hard. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Night, hey. Okay, so five minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get an apple. Four and a half. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. You you know what that is, don't you? What? That that's what a Vulcan does when he can't hear very well. Exactly what Kevin. Le does. Leonard, Leonard, what is that? <laughs> but you, you you know where it's from? It's from this. Uh, mm -hmm. gesture during the uh, 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 the Cohen blessing. Oh, the okay, using them both. Yeah, but it's the shin, the the letter shin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not me though. No. Spot. Yeah. It's, a, it's the Hebrew. It's the Hebrew. The Hebrew letter shin. Whatever it is. Yeah, Leonard cool. Nimoy. Um, peak one uh one service and thought that every that the rabbis doing this was really cool and when they were looking for some strange hand gesture he suggested it there you go so spock, spock was jewish uh no leonard nimoy was jewish <laughs> there's a subtle difference there They sing about it in that song. The what's the Hanukkah song by uh, the guy from Saturday Night Live? He sings about Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock, both Jewish. Oh, oh, it's Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler song, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's true. A funny song, yeah. the Hanukkah song. Yeah, very funny. All three Stooges. Mm -hmm. And their cousins. Their, and their friends and cousins. I have another Leonard Nimoy somewhere in my photos here from another TV show before he was Spark. Really? Yep. Episode of The Twilight Zone. Uh... Hi, Sagan. Hi, Sagan. Do you have a picture of him as Paris in Mission Impossible? Nope. Older than that. But I, I could find one, but I don't have it. Twilight Zone episode of, uh, I think it was called A Quality of Mercy. Look how much Zeke and, and Sagan look alike. Mm, only sometimes. There's, yeah. a little, there's, there's a little bit of each of her parents. Yeah, when you well, see her next to Tom, she's a clone of him. Well, my hair is wet, so it's usually right. puffy. So that's why you look like your mom, because her hair is flop, uh, I have flat now. Straight black hair, and she's got puffy red hair. And that might be part of it. And she just got out of the bath. Are you sleepy, Sagan? No. See, 30. <laughs> Like, Good liar. Is that a question any kid ever answers, honestly? Yeah, at this age, it's always no. <laughs> but then she'll get to bed and go. Right? Yeah. When it's time to go to bed, I'm sleepy. Yeah. 
I think you should stay up till one in the morning. I think it's a brilliant idea. I I can barely wake up at seven. I can't do that. You could do. You could you could fall asleep at different times in different time zones. It's probably one in the morning somewhere right now. What time is it in the East Coast, you guys? Who's it? What time is it in? Um, it's eleven thirty-one. Eleven thirty-one. It's almost midnight where they're at. So there you we go. took Sagan to a um, a Christmas party last night, and I told them, although I get to decide when school starts, I still wanted her to get to sleep at a reasonable time. So we had to bow out. Yeah, that makes sense. I used to let my kids stay up as late as they wanted and do whatever they wanted. And then um, the repercussions were theirs. <laughs> and they got to be real responsible real quick because I said, I'm not even going to wake you up for school. You're late so you school wanted them on fault. And they, and they <laughs> never <laughs> went. Okay, so are we back from our, our five minute break? No. You're not here? I'm here in spirit. Okay. Well, you're here <laughs> I'm here and I don't travel on spirit. Uh. No. <laughs> I just heard something about enterprise. Oh, I saw an article in, I think, the Washington Post. A bunch of people got, uh, not enterprise, what's the other budget airline? Is it enterprise? Frontier. Frontier. That's it. They were in Frontier and they, they were trying to go somewhere and they were told that it was going to be 48 hours for the next flight and some woman with her mom and her fiance i think just screamed out all right who wants to to rent a rent a van and let's drive <laughs> and 13 people did it they all paid 60 bucks they bought a they bought they rented a 15 seater van and there was 13 of them and they all just piled in and they drove and till I uh, 10 hours and they got to wherever it is they were going I think it was Tennessee and then and they and somebody tw uh had a Twitter a uh, popular Twitter account one of the people on the bus uh, on the in the van and she just live streamed the whole thing and it got tons of views and people were just amazed by you know how these strangers just came together to just solve a problem and they got there and so and they had a great like time. planes, trains, and automobiles, did they sing the Flintstone theme song while they were on the bus? I don't know, but I think they did sing a song. I can't remember which one it was, but they. But that's uh, what we did one time. We were flying. I used to live in Colorado Springs. We were flying back into Denver, and there was a bad snowstorm, so they weren't going to take off to go to the home. Um, Is Faith and Romero Springs. were they on that bus? So we no. So so we. Um, Got to, so the passengers got together and rented a van, the ones who were going to Colorado Springs, and drove back to Colorado Springs during this snowstorm. But this was decades ago. Was it strangers? Yeah, they were all strangers. We're, we just we were all going to Colorado Springs, and we couldn't get there because of the snowstorm. Huh. So we were at the Denver import. So we just... Well, so my suggestion Colorado we Springs to Denver, uh, to Denver Airport to Colorado Springs is not too horrible. No, it's not no, even it's an not, hour. Right? It's an hour and a half. Yeah, it's not very far. Yeah, but you're, you're coming down the mountain though as well. But it was just a terrible oh. snowstorm. Did you mm. think she'll be coming down the mountain? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known that was coming. My goodness. I, I once <laughs> drove, drove from downtown New York to New Jersey in a blizzard because I couldn't get a second hotel. It was New Year's Eve and I couldn't get a hotel room in New York. We had to leave. The snow was coming sound so bad, we couldn't make it home. So we just drove to New Jersey and that took like three hours just to cross downtown New York into New Jersey uh, to find a hotel. Is that three a long hours. time? I don't know. It seems yeah, like it's usually like, a, a, like with traffic, it's an hour, you know? And it was like three hours because it was a blizzard and it was just, it was really hard to, oh my God, it was horrible. It should it just it should have been just crossing a bridge without traffic. It's a twenty minute drive tops, but with traffic, it's usually an hour. It was three hours in a blizzard. Wow, we just couldn't find a hotel in New York. We we had it the night before, and they wouldn't let us stay another night. I said, "Where the hell are we gonna go? It's a blizzard." 
They didn't offer to let you sleep in the lobby. No, because the people had reserved rooms and we had to leave. We were checked out. No, and but the snow and I slept like, in the lobby. Yeah, they didn't say you could sleep in the lobby. Nope. <laughs> or go to a diner and just sit there and drink cups of coffee until no, fill it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just Don't we ended up driving to New like Jersey. You. I think all of our 24 hour places are not 24 hours anymore because of the COVID. Oh. Yeah, COVID kind of shut everything down. Denny's, I think, is still yeah. 24 hours, isn't it? Safeway is 24 hours. You can just shop yeah. up and down the aisle. Oh, wow. <laughs> the big star. You can spend a lot of time in there. Yeah, they have, no. coffee, they have a Starbucks. They have you yeah, know, but your food. feet would be killing you after a while. Yeah, but they don't have that many people employed by Starbucks anymore. Because mm -hmm. I was in the Safeway in PG a couple months ago, and nobody was at the Starbucks counter to serve people. And somebody asked about that. They said, "Well, oh, the guy, the woman working for Starbucks is on her lunch break, and nobody's there to fill in for her uh -huh. on her lunch break." She went to go get coffee. <laughs> but it works. Went to Dunkin' Donuts or, or well, come back with some, a Winchell's cup of coffee. Winchell's, yeah. Winchell's sometimes, sometimes Susan's social trivia feels like twenty-four hours. Yeah, it does sometimes. <laughs> well, at least we have our very own long chairs, break, though. Okay, so let's come back from our break. Kyle, I was uh, listening to uh, Data Skeptic, and I think I listened to one, and then. I don't know what I did. I hit a button and then the next thing I know, I was listening to the other one right after the other, which usually I don't do. I usually listen to one and then like other things. But today I was listening and you said something really amazing at the very, very first thing you said, which was something about con. They'll always try to find a way of. Oh, God, you said never underestimate the creativity of people committing fraud. That's it. Oh. That was it. It was like spot on. I was like, okay, that's right. So tell us about um, uh, Data Skeptic this week. Sure. On the most recent episode, it's titled Placement Fraud Laundering. So it's a particular situation in advertising where scam websites or scam uh, ad networks will sell you ads and say they're going to appear on legitimate sites, you know, like CNN or CFI or wherever but then show them on some random site like 4chan, uh, but through some little trickery in the back end, make it look as though the traffic came from a legitimate source. <laughs> so uh, yet another scam out there in the advertising world to be aware of. And I talked to a researcher who uncovered this, proved that it's happening and talked about some ways to detect it. That's this week on Data Skeptic. I liked how you, uh, your little plug for possible... Uh, <laughs> websites was kyle's cooking kyle's cooking tips or something like something like that yeah i have found something well maybe that is a thing i don't i didn't know if you just picked that out of the air because your name is kyle or maybe you do know of a kyle's cooking cooking tip channel or i need to buy that real quick you better get that because that that sounded pretty good i was like i don't know i might if you're cook if the recipes are cookies maybe i would go for it i don't know I don't know, Kyle. Hard to believe anyone would would try to cheat someone. It's I know. It's so <laughs> unlikely. How is that? I don't believe it. Perverse incentives. <laughs> very, very fun. Okay, so um, well, some people are out on vacation. Some were not. I, I didn't see any request forms for vacations from anybody, uh, but I have. <laughs> I have a couple announcements. So let's. I'm going to be in LA tomorrow. And I didn't realize that, but I get in at six. I thought my plane got in at seven. So just putting it out there for anybody who's in the LA area. All day Saturday, we're going to go to the Science Museum and hang out and go see an IMAX. Wendy's got it all planned. And then we're going to go to, but it's going to be casual. I mean, you know, we can sit and talk and blah, 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 and see sciencey stuff and stuff as well. And then we're going to go to uh, Philippe's. Okay. Philippe's. Philippe's, yeah, because Philippe. it's got good parking and um and the other how I chose it was I looked online and they um they on I think it was on Yelp it explain it said whether or not they have good parking and Philippe's has better parking than the than Coles <laughs> yeah and so well that was important. It, it, like you can't do anything. I see what side you're do. taking, Wendy. Yeah. yeah. 
So, so Coles, Coles that might was be for another day. Choice. But yeah. yeah, Philippe's, I've been, Mark has taken me a bunch of times. I love it. It's so fun. You guys, so watch out for the photos that are going to come up that we'll have up on uh, Monday when I get back. Um, that's coming up this weekend. And then for, I have a talk on Sunday. Hmm? For people that don't know, Coles and Philippe's both claim to be the originator of the uh, French dip sandwich. French dip big, sandwich. Big rivalry in LA. Yeah. 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 So. And then the other thing was, we're thinking of going back to Palermo's uh, Sunday afternoon. Well, I guess we'll decide Sunday. at the end of the, your, um, your talk. Yeah. So sad, Sunday, I'm going to be at uh, CFI giving a talk. Okay. The next thing that's coming up is I was thinking that maybe we will do a trivia on the 1st, January 1st. Oh, is it, that right? That's a Sunday. And I thought we'd do it early oh. in the day. And that way, that way it'd be a way of, uh, because I don't think, you know, people always tell me, oh, well, everybody's going to be hung over. I don't get the feeling that this group is going to be hung over on the first. <laughs> so what time, what time would it be? I don't know. We, let's, let's talk about it next week. But I'm thinking like 10. Can, I, I, I was going to ask <laughs> to do a whole show in, in, in a whole day in, uh, in early January, but maybe that's not the day. Well, it's can I be, be kind drunk? of fun because that way we can ask, we can we can invite people from Europe and people who normally couldn't show up from the East Coast. It would be a different crowd as well as some of the normal crowd. So I'm not going to probably. Yeah, but who wants to... them? <laughs> uh, a lot of these special ones I like to do all the rounds, but you know we'll see. So let's talk about that later. But put that in your bonnet if you haven't if you've got a bonnet. So that's on um, the first. I was thinking about. And I'm then, less. I'll have to move the bee. <laughs> um, and we have to wait for the rose parade to be over. Is there going to be a rose parade? I've never watched it or heard. I assume so. I don't know. Do they still do it on Sundays? I don't know. That's good. Because well, they, they used to not. not they used to not play to the. You. They used to not play the game on Sunday because it was Sunday. Because it's college, but I don't know if they've changed that. I don't know. Let me. I've got this little electronic encyclopedia here. Okay, so that's <laughs> the first. So going. I mean, we can run it on another screen if you really want to watch it. Okay. So then, um, the other thing that's happening is that um, I'm looking at my notes. I have to get my booster shot because <laughs> it'll be about four months since I had my last COVID. So my only COVID. Thank you very much. So I figured about four months. So then Monterey County Skeptics is doing a three Saturday mm -hmm. workshop and we're going to have it on the 7th, the 14th and the 21st. It's from two to four at our public library. Do not fret if it's something you'd like to do, but you don't live nearby because if it rolls out well, it's going to be a discussion event that we invite the public to not at somebody's house or anything like that. It's a public library. And if it works out well, I intend to roll it out all over and they can be changed and adapted in any way anybody wanted to do it who wants to run it. So that's what I'm, more information will follow, but that's coming up. And is there anything else has wants to include? Yeah, what, the what? Rose Parade is gonna be on- um, um, Monday? Second. Deborah was, De yeah, Deborah was right. Yeah. It's gonna be on January 2nd on monday so um we can do whatever we want on sunday and it's i won't feel torn there's probably professional football on sunday so. oh, maybe <laughs> but okay. the, the, anything else i need to announce um no year is almost over oh leonard tell us all the gossip at the at the board meeting <laughs> no no, <laughs> there was no gossip. There was lot. There was lots of gossip, but no. Nothing. Nothing on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nothing happened there. Nothing you could repeat. Oh, no, no, I do nothing. have a couple articles out. Um, pause the recording, and maybe he'll speak. <laughs> oh yeah, Susan's article that was on the from um the, it was a draft from a chapter oh, of the book. Yeah, yeah, I completely forgot about that. So I'll put it in the notes. So that is come that I just did. I did that on a whim. 
and because I wanted to put an article out in November mm -hmm. and I just had that in my email and I just changed it a little bit and post it. People have been really receptive to it. So that's happening. Uh, the other thing is there's going to be an article coming out very shortly on the triangle skeptics. So Romero's and Faith's group, um, they're not a part of it because they were out traveling around trying to write trivia categories. <laughs> come up with topic for trivia, but their group triangle skeptics they're re a, doing uh, research for trivia <laughs> that's all it was here for so their group did a one of the first groups you know i asked a bunch of groups if they would do this and their group said we'll do it and they did it and so it's kind of a how to uh organize a group to I mean, it talks about how they got their logo made, how they got their banner made, how they approached a museum um, event, how they what they how they came up with a topic, what it was like. Anyway, so that article should be out any day now, and that I think that's fun. So I think that's it, right? Okay, let's get started. Let's get the party going, moving. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, who's up next? I think it's me. I'll. Okay, well, let's make it you. All right. So, um, I'm going to uh, Peggy. Don't forget after he we mo moan and groan about how awful this category is, then we get to um, be muted. All right. Well, on November 24th, 1971, a man bought a plane ticket from Portland to Seattle. He promptly hijacked that plane, <gasps> claiming he had a bomb in his briefcase. 45 years later, in 2016, the FBI suspended its investigation, its unsolved investigation, for the man known as D.B. Cooper. Yay! I might know so many <laughs> Darn, that's the only thing that, that I knew was the guy's name. Oh, it's so interesting. I read well, then you might get question that. one correctly. Oh, fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. Finally. Oh, okay. I don't know. It might be really obscure. So, uh, right. Peggy, can you do your duty? Will do. Okay, three, two, one, mute all. Yes, I do really want to mute all. All right. Number one, the name D.B. Cooper was actually a misprint. What false name did the hijacker actually use when purchasing his ticket? And probably in a coincidence, it's the name of a French comic book character of the time. Question number two, how much ransom did Cooper demand, plus or minus 10% in 1971 dollars? Question three, in addition to ransom money, what other four physical items were requested? Question four. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have to list all four. Right. Yeah. Is it one of four or one of four? All yeah, four. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are four items. It's it's one physical thing. There were four copies. Oh, okay. Uh, question four: When stewardess Tina Mucklow asks DB Cooper if he had a grudge with Northwest Orient Airlines, his resp he responded, and I'll give you four choices. No, my grudge is bigger than that. Uh, that's A. B. No, I just have a grudge. C. Not anymore, we're even now. And D, no, I'm just a desperate man needing to take a risk. Question five. The only major clue to emerge was found on February 10th, 1980 in Tina Bar, Washington. What was it? Question six. In 1998, the FBI sought to extract DNA from a piece of evidence from the hijacking. Unfortunately, the Las Vegas field office had destroyed the evidence. What evidence might have broken this case in the same way the Green River Killer was broken? All right, question seven. Due to multiple copycat hijackings that took place in 1972, the FAA required that the exterior of all Boeing 727 aircrafts be fitted with a spring-loaded device that prevents the lowering of the aft air, uh, air stair during flight. What is that device called? And question eight. 
Shortly after the spring thaw, FBI agents, 200 soldiers, some Air Force personnel, National Guardsmen, and civilian volunteers, uh, volunteers conducted another thorough search of the ground area for 18 days in March and then again 18 days in April. They did not find evidence of Cooper's body, but what did they find? And I'll give you four choices here. A, a storage bunker used by the mob. B, a Japanese weather balloon. C, a previously unknown entrance to the deepest cave in Washington state, or D, the remains of a recent murder victim. Question nine. The FBI is reported to have considered thousands of suspects. How many official named suspects does the Wikipedia page list, plus or minus three? You guys love throwing Wikipedia at me, don't you? You really do. <laughs> ah. And last but not least, a podcast with 70 episodes and uh, basically 70 different possible theories of amateur researchers exists. It is called, and I'll give you five choices here, A, Tandem Investigations, B, Follow the Grudge, C, This Week in D.B. Cooper, D, Identifying D.B. Cooper, or E, The Cooper Vortex. And one last zero point bonus, since we don't really have bonuses, but if you find some time before we're calling you back, did D.B. Cooper survive the jump? What is the skeptical perspective? Ooh, I can answer that one at least. <laughs> These are some really tough questions, Kyle. This is mean. I've, I've read about this multiple times. I don't know how great of a help I'm going to be on this. We'll see. Well, we're going to find out. We'll find out. Hopefully somebody on the on your team. Susan, Mark is D.B. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> they did interview thousands of suspects. You never know. He was never in that area. Okay. So he tells you. <laughs> I know. I've, I've chronicled his life. He would. I, I don't think Mark would jump out of a plane. No, not unless he was high. He do a lot of weird things. You yeah. have to be high yeah. to jump out of a plane. Oh, Fair point. Oh, oh, yeah, I was going to just say that. Oh, you beat me to it. Well, you are too slow, Vincent. I know. Okay, finish our rooms. Well, you don't have to be. You can jump out of a plane on the ground. Yeah, I guess. That is high true. off the ground, sort of. Sort of, kind of. Okay. Mean, Gail. Hi. Well, Janine's. Hi, Ellen. So Janine's up there closest to Washington. So this is. Yeah, it's kind of home territory. Kind of. Yeah. I don't remember the story at all. Oh my god! I don't, don't, don't remember the story. But I'm going to. I know that there was such a story, but I don't know anything about oh, it. I've read it about oh. it many times, but I'm not. I'm not like <clears throat> I'm just listening, but. I think I've read. Well, a lot. we watched it happen. Happened. I remember you did. I remember watching. I mean, not watching it like seeing it, but you know, I mean, I remember when it happened in the newspaper, and everybody's probably talking about well, it. What was on the news and on TV, and you know, so these, these quotes from him. So he was. They were talking. These are quotes that he was talking from the cockpit of the plane while he was hijacking it. No, he was a passenger. Yeah. He was no, the passenger, and he did he not parachute. hijack the plane. He yeah. asked for some parachutes, and he asked for some money. And and okay, so let's out. go. Let's go to the let's go to the questions. And, and he the, left. Okay, question <clears throat> one. I'm putting down my cross stitch so I can actually pay attention. Uh, the, I don't remember the name. Do you remember the name? I don't remember. John, why? You're from Washington. He's Come here. So? <laughs> Come here. Come help us. Um, what was D.B. Cooper's um, actually misprint name? His actual I think fault. It's Don Cooper. Don D O N. Don D O N. Don yeah. Don, Don Cooper. Cooper. Well, that's a good guess. I'm still was having that? these questions, but I'll get it. Is it a well, name? Remember, is there there's a French, French comic book. <laughs> yeah. How much? How much ransom did he ask 200, for? Two hundred thousand. How much? Two hundred thousand. Wow. 
All right, John. In addition to the other ransom money, he asked for four parachutes? He asked for parachutes. Yep. And they found about five or 6,000 in the river. Yeah, I know, but we haven't gotten to that question yet. Why, why would you need four parachutes? In case one didn't work. Would for you put arm, them all four two arms? Two arms and two legs. <laughs> okay, so number you know, four. I Number four, what is question. that? Oh, she asked if he had a grudge. I think and he had a question, but I don't remember him res what he responded. It was a flu. I think answer. D. I'm thinking D. What did he tell the stewardess why he was doing it, John? I have no idea. Oh, that's who he talked to. Okay. I think it was D. I think he was just desperate. I I always got the feeling he was just like flipping about it. But maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Okay, the only major clue to emerge was found, and that was oh, the that was four. Five. That was the money. Five, five, five. That's the money they found. Bills. They found a bunch of they bills that was in that hide okay. flats of um, of um, on the river, the Columbia River. Wait, didn't they find some money in circulation somewhere in Washington? I don't know about finding any in circulation. I don't think they have found any in circulation. I think the only money they found has been what they found on that bar. The water. In the Columbia River. But where 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 would they get the money from when you when they were on the plane? They landed and then <laughs> got the money to the plane, I think, and then took off again, right? Yeah, they landed, they so brought- he, So he did hijack, the so he did hijack, so he did hijack the plane. Yeah, I guess he didn't, he just told he him- didn't to go to Cuba. He just didn't go to Cuba, that's all. Right, he didn't yeah. take it someplace else, he just made him go to an airport and then- He just made them fly someplace and he jumped out. Yeah, I guess he did hijack it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, um, I'm trying to share the screen and I don't have your answers written, so you wanna tell me them again? Okay, number one is Don. D O N. D O N. I think that was Don Cooper. I think that's right, actually. And the amount of the ransom? 200,000. 200,000. And he asked for parachutes. Three. And four is D. Finally, a category <laughs> that Janine's like, I think I can do this. Um, no, not really. It's not so well, it's, not, remember, it's not Mariah Carey remember. songs or movies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, number um, five. The first major number movie, five, they found the bills. They found some money in a in like a on a lake, lake or bar. A bar in the river. Yeah, all muddied and everything. And they dug it out of the gravel or something. Okay, now number six is the secret <laughs> bug, right? Okay, let's see. Sought to extract DNA. I have no idea what happened that they had destroyed the evidence and what evidence might have broke the case. Was it a, it was either a cigarette. I think it's a cigarette or it was like the note he wrote, but I think it's a cigarette. That could be. That would make sense, you know, you, if he's smoking it and, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the device that prevents lowering the air, the aft stair, air stair during flight, which- John, what? what did they put on the doors after that? A spring- It's a where you- Spring loaded device to, so that it prevents- It's a slide, isn't it the slide? From going the slide. During I, what's the device called that they put on the planes? Well, it, all I know is they put a lock on the door so you, it couldn't be opened from <laughs> the outside. Um, yeah, this is a spring-loaded device that prevents the the aft air stair uh, from lowering during flight. What would that be called? don't know okay yeah i think it's the thing where they slide <laughs> out right like you know if there's an emergency and they land in the water they can 
they can activate something and then this like slide cut happens and then people can slide down. Is that what but that does? Pre the no, because that there? would not prevent, prevent slowering the air stair during flight. So it's a device Exterior. that prevents the air from lowering during flight. How about an, okay. It's so a spring loaded device. It's some mechanical device, John. <clears throat> to open the back door? Yes. I don't know. Well, think I, of... I know that it, they had to um, do something that would only allow the back door to lower from the outside. Right. So, you know, so, so give it a name. Had to open it. Give it a name. Make up a name, a mechanical name. Okay, number eight. We'll move on while you think about it. Yeah. What did they find when they were searching? Uh, I maybe D. I none of those sound familiar. Yeah. So you guys will have to read the Wikipedia page at least after this is over because it's a really fascinating. No wonder you know so much about it. Well, well, I know I don't. It's just think really it's interesting. A... I've read about it, and it keeps coming out in the news every so often. <laughs> they'll be like, you know, they tried to do this, or they got a clue to that, or they closed the case recently, which got a lot of publicity because people were like, "Oh, you're going to close this? You mean this is still open? It was never solved." I think I agree. I I think D. I think it might be D because the others don't seem right. Yeah. Okay, number nine, okay. I have no idea. Probably <laughs> on a Wikipedia page, they're not going to let you have a thousand names. They're going to let you have 20, you know. So I guess, and the plus or minus is three. So it's going to be a number around 20 or 15 or something. So that's what I would guess. But you wouldn't be able to put a thousand names on a Wikipedia page of suspects. That'd be ridiculous. So oh, 17, we should put the plus or minus three. Okay, that's good. Okay, a podcast with 70 episodes. Well, he said, I just based on what he said in question four, <coughs> then maybe. Maybe the answer is follow the grudge. Yeah, so, follow if the it's grudge. follow the grudge, then we're wrong on the that upper part. The Except that she question. said, what is your grudge? Do you have a grudge against it? Yeah. I, I, I'm kind of thinking um, four is not D. Well, if, if okay, let's say number 10 oh, is follow the grudge, then the best bet for it would be... Cooper Latch or Cooper Vane or Cooper something. Okay, John thinks John thinks the device is, is literally named after him. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, a, a like Cooper he Lord. says a Cooper Latch or a Cooper Vane or a Cooper, Cooper Lock. Or... Cooper Lock? That's great. Do something Cooper, like that. I like Cooper Latch. Alan and Gail have been so quiet. Make them pick. I don't know. Seven. Clue. Well, I don't know either. Cooper Lock? Cooper I Latch? think a Cooper Latch. A Cooper. Spring loaded latch sounds right. Okay. So number 10. John thinks it's. <laughs> oh, he didn't know, huh? He, what did yeah. you say before? We were going four back before that. If, okay, so if on 10, but, let's just say that follow the grudge is the name of the podcast, just say, then okay. four would be probably A. Or B. A or B. Well, one of them would make it sound like it was a grudge. <laughs> okay. So A kind of makes it sound like the grudge is bigger than that. In other words, they had a grudge against the airline, but it's even bigger than that. If it's better than, unless it's C, not anymore. Like in other words, saying we did have, I did have a grudge, but now we're even. 
So maybe it's C on number four and B on number 10, or maybe just Kyle made it up. Six C. Hey. Or this week in DB Cooper does seem like it'd be a podcast, wouldn't it? Um, I was thinking identifying DB Cooper, but <laughs> but if you're really into it, I mean, really into it, and you've got seventy episodes, then then maybe B is the best because it would be like <laughs> insiders only. Follow the grudge. I, okay, I'm good with following the grudge, and then we need to change four. To which one? Um, either A or C. What do you guys think makes the most logical sense? I like C because A and B is so similar. So B, C would be like it does sound like he did have a grudge, and so we're supposed to follow it in the podcast. And he was. He was supposedly very uh, smug right i i thought he was confident about it yeah that's the feeling i don't remember him ever sounding like it was a desperation so going to 10 just for i mean 11 i think he survived the jump the jump do you they think had, i think he did yeah i don't think he did i don't think well, so. they never found him they never found him doesn't mean that they that he isn't buried somewhere in the mountains well, and there's a lot of coyotes. Either. There's a lot of coyotes out there. They looked pretty soon after. I think he survived. And he's just... Mm -hmm. Because most of the money is gone. Right? They only recovered a few thousand. And he had 200,000. Oh, but, they but they have never found the bills in circulation. <laughs> that we know of. I mean, he could have been they had. They had the serial numbers on the bills. If they went back into circulation, they would have found them. But were the bills, how small were the bills? How much, how much bills would it be for 200,000? How much is that in volume? Would it be hundred dollar bills? Probably. Make a decision. Not much time. Well, it's, it's not any worth any points. It's not a. Oh, that's the extra thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, if they were hundred dollar bills, they'd have found it because there are not that many of them in circulation. In fact, I don't think they're making them anymore. I think which ones? Hundred dollar bills. Oh yeah, no, it, was, it was all in. It was all in two dollar bills. One dollar bills. Nobody's in check, but a hundred dollar bill would have been. John, what anyway. bill? What? Well, that was interesting. Yeah, these were mm -hmm. tough. That questions. was fun. Well, right. there's another I, trivia round I've been working on that I have to scratch off the list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That was a lot of fun, Kyle. I don't. I mean, was, you guys do have the same name, so yeah. you know. Janine, Janine and <laughs> makes sense. Uh, Janine was the one who rocked at this, so her. I her, got in the her, right her, area. Her and her husband. Her husband lives lived in Washington at the time, and they remember this. Oh, he's a uh, suspect. <laughs> but it is a really interesting case and um gail remembered it but alan had never heard of it and that's so interesting. john, john yeah. was not a suspect because he's afraid of heights okay, there you go. never heard of it alan well that's that's what he'd say <laughs> yeah but it's, it's interesting he'd not he couldn't go near the edge of the grand canyon i just well, don't remember because he developed a fear yeah. Rock, do you live under after, out of the uh, plane? Who could blame after him? After that fall, yeah. <laughs> hey, who? How many people here do remember it? I remember it, but I, I remember, remember it. I don't okay, remember did. that it happened. I don't. Who didn't? Well, I think you were in Israel when it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I I yet. What year you have to remember? Yeah. What, what year did it happen in? In the early seventies, right? Was it early seventy-one? Early seventies, and they was too young. Oh, see, they, did one of those really yet. they did one of those oh, I was songs. in Philadelphia. I was in Philly by it, probably. Oh, no wonder you didn't know anything. A likely excuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember the <laughs> songs? Remember Witnesses that can corroborate that? I've never heard of it. I oh, remember, the... well, remember I was too young, so is Faith. I remember it when I was a kid. Remember when they did the school I knew songs? about D.B. Cooper. He's just Mexican. I don't know. <laughs> one of those spoof songs they mentioned D.B. Cooper in. Oh. He's used like, a he's, lot of different like um, references. People will 
I mean, you know, like a late night comedian would might say something and it and yeah. the punchline well, I, would be D.B. Cooper. Yeah, I think they even made a movie where they <laughs> speculated about what could have happened. There's more like Cooper. there's more than one movie, yeah. 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 He, he was in high he was in high noon. And Forrest Gump. Half a joke, too, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't in Forrest Gump. Is he? <laughs> Everybody. I don't know. Jane was telling us that she that she she um went skydiving when she was in college, but she broke her leg. So yeah. You really gotta know what you're doing when you parachute. Okay, so go ahead, Kyle, because I'm really curious about these right. answers because we try to reason them out and I don't know if we did it or right or not. Well, there were question, <laughs> questions. Question one's a rather straightforward one. The correct answer is Dan Cooper. Yes. Oh, we put Don Cooper. What? And question two: the amount of ransom again in 1971 dollars, two hundred thousand U.S. Oh. dollars. Oh. Oh, Good man. job, John. John got it right on the button. Which Carl is in, it. You know what it was. He said, and it was in twenties. Was it? That's what he um, did most 20s? of it at least maybe all how, of it how big would 20 dollar bills how big of a how heavy how heavy yeah how what would that look like <laughs> why did he ask a, for four parachutes a big pile of money oh yeah. you think it, you would, the it would feel like it would money? feel like honey sark yeah <laughs> i actually i actually just did this problem with my daughter in math and uh a, a carton of paper like 10 reams of paper is about 300 thousand dollar bills there's, there's wow. 480 notes to a pound in weight so how much would how much would how much would that be quick math i may have done it wrong but it comes out to about 21 pounds oh, that's that's a, lot. a lot more than he that just he, just the, he dismantled one of the parachutes and used the, the string rope from the parachute did. to tie the money to his body yep also, oh is that what he did uh, a potential clue. Yeah, that's true. He also, he, he dismantled one of the three working parachutes. Right. <laughs> An interesting clue. Somehow, I don't remember the exact details on this. That's the maximum they would have around or something like that. So it's presumed maybe he knew that somehow. Uh, but anyway, as many of you figured out, I think maybe all the groups got this. What did he ask for? Four parachutes. Yeah. So what was uh, the reason no. for that? Well, if you ask for one parachute, there's a chance they'll <laughs> sabotage it. If you ask for two, it implies you might be taking one of your um, captives. Oh, oh passengers. Yeah, but, then, yeah. but then how would he know which would be the parachute he should put on? Well, well they would sabotage, would they sabotage, they sabotage them. In, That's the game. They wouldn't, they wouldn't <laughs> sabotage it if they thought he was going to take a hostage. They, or they wouldn't intentionally sabotage any of them. Yeah. Right. Because That's a one, really of, one of the parachutes point. with a training parachute that was sewn shut and wouldn't have worked. Huh. So, really uh, good point. And do you think he did use it to tie the money to him? That's right. He uh, used one of the, he cut up one of the parachutes as a mechanism for carrying the money. So, okay. So he right. thought this through. Oh, yeah. It seems so. Oh, yeah. Well, probably... and, uh, how did he wow. respond to Tina Mucklow's question? B, he said, no, I just have a grudge. Oh, he went back and forth on that. Thank you, team. And yep. then I what was found at Tina Bar? It was some of the money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much did they recover? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember the exact amount, but uh, the researchers <laughs> interested in this talk a lot about diatoms and their belief that the money had to have been placed, that it couldn't have fallen there naturally. That's uh, an amateur sleuth theory out there um, and then six i'll take a couple of answers the correct answer is to the physical evidence that might have had dna which was destroyed correct answer is cigarette butts yes uh, but uh, there was oh. also a black clip on tie yes. a mother's yes. pearl tie clip and yes. hair samples that were recovered okay. and what yeah. kind of samples hair samples <laughs> how would they get hair samples People are shedding hairs constantly. People behind on the feet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. They and they were... have none of them, Kyle? That's right. They were unable to recover any DNA evidence from what they had available or could find. But it was not a toilet, Deborah. No, you know. Well, you know. Deborah, <laughs> a toilet? Well, you know, they have toilets on airplanes. Yes, they Nobody have. flushed this. <laughs> but with modern technology, if they even had some of that still. 
The cigarette yeah. pack grills. Yeah. He asked for a bourbon and seven up for his drink, but they evidently didn't save the cup or whatever. Anyway, the FAA, <laughs> then after all these copycats, required that a new thing be installed called a Cooper vein. Oh, oh my God. Thank we you, had Paul. Cooper Gate. Oh, got it. John said <laughs> Cooper Latch. Well, John, all, John also said Cooper Vane, but it didn't make sense to us. His, we, he's going, oh, it's something like a Cooper Vane or some latch or something. Uh-huh. Could we say we Cooper Gate? It. Yeah, we had Cooper Gate. <laughs> you can say anything, but it's not going to be right unless it's Cooper yeah. Vane. Maybe a typo. Uh, all right. It's like an aerodynamic thing that when the plane is in motion, it keeps the door latched and prevents it from opening. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I see. Question eight. While not finding D.B. Oh, Cooper's remains, what did right. they find? Uh, the correct answer is the least interesting of the ones I found that I made up anyways. D. They found oh. a recent murder <laughs> victim remain. Oh, bummer. Unrelated. I'm sure that wasn't that. Uh, I'm sure it was very interesting. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's uh, family. Yeah. Oh, true. And then uh, nine. How many official suspects named on the Wikipedia page? There are 15. No oh, way. Way to go, Kyle. We just barely did that. That's right. Good job. Good job. Last but not least, the most popular podcast on the topic is The Cooper Vortex. Oh, hey. man. Uh-huh. We went with Follow the Grudge because we thought it did with the other one. I didn't even see that one. I just thought, oh, there you go. I thought it was just through D. Not that I would have chosen it, but. (laughs) I thought we thought Follow the Grudge and it had something to do with the questions you asked earlier about the grudge. Yep, That's what I intended you to do. We fell for it. We fell right. I thought you invented Koopa Vortex. Yeah, they didn't. Machiavellian question and answer. We sure did fantastic, our team there. Holy no, I don't think so. Okay, so go to go to the last <laughs> one because I'm really curious about what people think. Yeah. No. Unlikely. Survive. Yeah. No, he wouldn't have survived. The, the answer is who knows. That's the valid answer. It's the only real answer. And they ended. I think he survived. No. I don't well, think he would have. Not using, and you. And you base this on your. Ex- money. And well, you because, base this on your extensive experience jumping out of the back of. 737s? Well, yeah, well so going, one thing, he didn't, what area did he choose? Because people who parachute as a hobby, they choose areas where it's going to be flat, there are going to be no buildings, no outcropping, outcroppings of rocks, no trees. He jumped over the Pacific North. <coughs> he could have been you're jumping, jumping, and you're jumping at night and in bad weather with no visibility of the Yeah, ground. You, but it's on the rocks. Um, you're also trees. Jump, you're, jumping we, we, out of a, you're jumping out of a plane that's going that's going three four hundred miles an hour. Yeah, uh, somebody else said at, at twenty thousand really feet. I mean, it's high, it's really cold. There's high. no air. Right. I, I think, think the like best the evidence is, is that there's. I think the best evidence is there's been no money in circulation from that. To but if they even mark those twenty dollar bills. If you went and took the money to some really obscure place, like, like, um, but they have all Syracuse, the serial New York, numbers. All the serial they numbers. have they all would, the serial numbers. Would have wound up in circulation. Yeah. But those yeah. yeah. look at those serial numbers in, in Syracuse, the, New York. The bank. The bank. The money well, goes yeah. into circulation. Yeah, the money eventually gets, gets pulled out of circulation and sent back to the Fed eventually. <laughs> If he didn't survive, he would have had body parts scattered all over the Pacific Northwest. We didn't find anything. He's fine. Well, that's I mean, what I'm saying. <laughs> no, the animals, the animals would have ate him up. There's <laughs> animals he all used over. Any, and it's stuffed in somebody's mattress somewhere. And he could have well, been in a very fine, but he had to burn the money to stay area. warm in the woods. <laughs> I think he's in uh, Argentina or Brazil. That's I what think I he's think. in the ground. No, I think Hide, that too. Hiding in Hitler's bunker. Because if if the money hasn't been found, other than the few thousand dollars they found, that that the money's um, got to. I mean, they would. How did he get to Argentina? How did he buy a plane ticket to Argentina? I'm pretty sure he's an Elvis impersonator in Vegas. (laughs) No one would let him on an airplane. It was really well planned. No, if jumping from a plane like. Somebody said a plane that's much higher than you normally would have jumped, uh, flying much higher than you normally would have jumped from. 
It's very cold. He had a lot of extra weight too. If he asked for $200,000 and $20 bills, and he was trying to carry that on him <laughs> with so a Kyle, so, so Kyle, was your plan to keep this conversation going until <laughs> two in the morning? <laughs> well, until we took, solve this. Okay, okay. I'm going to read about it. We'll talk about it next week, but I think he's still alive. Well, so I think he survived me. that. I don't think he's still alive now. No, he's even if he survived the jump, he may not have survived going back to civil, you know, finding his way back to civilization. Well, the one thing we can probably reasonably conclude that is that that money never got put into circulation. Yeah. Let's do totals. Oh my goodness. I was <laughs> so interested in that conversation. I forgot we just were playing a game. Okay. All right. Thank you, Aaron, for putting us back on track. <laughs> So we. I, I'm just look looking at, at my clock on the East Coast here and thinking. Oh, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay, so let's go. Refuse fission for fusion. Eight. Oh, we did Ooh, pretty good. Okay. Good job. All right, nuclear fusion jazz band. Four. Uh, no, we got five. We got five. Oh, okay. Well, five. Hey, I'll go. All right, no NFT for me. Eight. And. His real team and the team that that was I, Kyle's. Seven. Seven? Seven. Okay, we didn't tank the team there, Janine. All right, something clever. Eight. Eight. Oh, nice. Good job. Which, but team two sure caught up. Yeah. Two, two we should really have had nine. We were so close on Dawn I know. versus we said, Dan. We said and yeah. Cooper Latch rather than Cooper Vane. We were, we were, and we did oh, say right. Cooper Vane. We, so 10, we would have had 10, but nine category. All right. Well, wait a second. How could we have had if we got Cooper uh, one and the Cooper Latch? That would have been, been 10. We only had six. You think he had six? Yeah. We oh, missed, I think you're we missed right. the name because we said Don. Okay. We missed the so stewardess. We said we Don instead the Cooper of Dan. Lash, and we missed the Cooper Vortex. You're right. We have six. I accidentally circled and slashed. We okay. have six, not seven. All right. Good job. So, Kevin, you are <laughs> somewhere on the screen, somewhere. Yep. I'm with the lighthouse. Category is oh, not lighthouses. Don't Thank worry. God. Sunset. Billy Joel. Don't worry. Paul and I are going to do a set. Uh, it's do a, it's uh, Houses layout. of Light. <laughs> I have to bow out. <laughs> All right. Bye, Vincent. That's a good Bye, category, bud. Bye, Vincent. We're Thanks. still being recorded, Vincent. Thanks, Thanks to my Canada. Yes, yeah, and, you realize we're being in recorded. In Vincent's honor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, Kevin. All right. The category is a mystery category. Shock, shock, shock. I'm sensing a theme here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, muting. All right. Don't forget. Let's try, right. to, let's try to get through it with more speed this time because I'll that, go fast. Well, don't go too fast, but you know what I mean. What was a number one hit song in 1982 from the movie Rocky Three? Question number two. It's a little bit longer, but it's not bad. Not Robert Palmer length. According to Poco, it's crazy. According to Phil Collins, it's kind of groovy. According to Lady Gaga, it's stupid. According to Peter Wolf, it stinks. What is it? Was it one of those? Shh, in my don't pocket? give, don't give, don't give any hints. This is a quote from a, a celebrity. I don't want to say what he does. Each character has a weakness, and Blank's weakness is Schroeder. Number four. Who sang, but it's all right now. I learned my lesson well. I'm trying to talk like a robot. You see, you can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. I don't want to sing it. Question number five. 
before catalytic converters and the EPA. What was the nickname for leaded gasoline? Number six and number seven. Coming at you. Who played the dad on My Three Sons? And number seven, who played Bub O'Casey, the father-in-law on My Three Sons? And I have the years. And if you pay attention to me in weeks past, I've mentioned and given the answer to this one. Who lived at 623 East 68th Street in the Lenox Hill area neighborhood of Manhattan? This fictional address does not exist. The last numbered building on East 68th Street is 590. So this address would be in the East River. Number nine. What is the name of B.B. King's guitar? And number 10, David Letterman, Joyce DeWitt, and Stedman Graham all graduated from what state university? Go to your rooms. Good boy. We'll go when you send us. Yep. Somebody's gotta send us. <laughs> I know some of them. I'll well, leave in a minute. One. I know one. <laughs> oh. Mm. I actually know quite a few. Maybe two. Ooh. Well, oh, let me sit here and cross stitch then while you guys tell me. You know what? Um, is okay. Yet? For number one, actually, I'm not sure this is the correct Rocky. Uh, I wonder if it's uh, Eye of the Tiger. It is. That's what came to mind. Yep. It's definitely Rocky three, though. That's just. That's the only question. Okay, so I I, I figured out the whole theme and oh, I, we hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Good, Carl. The the only I, one I don't 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 tell them the theme yet. I want to see the Susan only thing I don't it. have an answer for is seven. I know it. I got everything else. Oh. I know number seven. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, so all right, number one, rock. Number one is Eye of the uh, Tiger. Okay, I'm making a guess. I yeah. think it's rock band is the no, no 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 we already said it's eye of the tiger no that's i mean the theme of the whole thing. Oh, eye band. of the tiger rock band. oh you know what number two is love love yeah i was thinking it might be love yep you know what uh three is i do not know what number three is this a peanuts reference yes lucy's weakness is schroeder yeah Oh, so, so far you've got I love Lucy. Oh, it's I love Lucy. Yeah. Because, oh, because number eight is a I love Lucy reference. I do know what number four is. Uh huh. It's Ricky Nelson. Uh huh. That makes sense. Okay, we got the theme. You know what five yeah. is, right? Let's see. Uh, I do not know. Fill her up with Ethel. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, oh. yeah. Okay, who played the dad of my three sons? Fred, Fred Murray. Murray. And he was an I, yeah. What's seven? William Frawley. Ah. How do you spell his last name? F R A W L E Y. Boom. Okay. And then the other is, one. Who is that it, Carl? Yeah. Eight okay. is the Lucy, is the, is the, the Ricardos. The, Ricardos, yeah. It's what? The Ricardos. Because I've heard because he said that. He was. said that last week. He said when we were doing the addresses. Yeah, he's he's uh, Kevin said this last. I think week. he said it a couple mm. times. Kevin, yeah. you better get to the other rooms because yep. you know. And and uh, 
Number nine. Nine is Lucille. 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 And yeah. where'd they go? Ball State. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Ball State. Ball State. Ball State. Ball State. Like oh, Lucille Ball. 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 Yeah, Lucille Ball. Ball. Okay. Ball. I love Lucy, Ball, Ricky, Ball. Ethel, Fred, William, Ricardo, Lucille Ball. Yeah. Huge. There we go. Boom. Oh, that's that was easy. Well, we picked up some time. Hopefully. Well, I only knew four. I knew one. So I didn't know any of them. That was really a a, a good puzzle. I was like, <laughs> what? I don't know if it's because I'm tired or could be. I just didn't know the answers. And I thought about it. I can't come to the museum on Saturday morning. I realized we have um Sagan's participating in some kind of study. <laughs> you are just so busy all the time. My gosh. Are you overscheduled, do you think? No. You don't feel overscheduled? No, not usually on weekends. This isn't a one-off weird thing. We have people, um, you know, they they get their kids in sports and stuff, and they just never had a life. I can remember that. And I said, I remember my husband wanted to do that kind of stuff. I said, I work every weekend. So it was hard, you know. Well, you I was a dance mom that. before the pandemic, but Sagan oh. quit. You know, she did Mexican dance for four years. Oh, for for Clorico? Yeah. I can't even imagine her in a little for Clorico dress. She would be oh. adorable. That would be so cute. With the you haven't seen pictures and video? <laughs> I'll flood you. <laughs> oh, I'll have to go back and look. But no, I haven't seen it, but she must have been adorable. She's fantastic. She started when she was four and she was oh, amazing wow. from the beginning. And, and the only know. redhead wearing a black hairpiece. <laughs> she had to wear a black hairpiece. <laughs> How did she happen to see Folklorico? Oh, well, where we live, it's just really common. So the, 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 um, like the town children's day parade has all the children doing the dance. And we just fell in love when we moved here and we saw it. We're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Nice. So as soon as she was old enough, I put her in. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And then they grow up and they move away. And then you're like, what the hell am I going to do with myself now? Yeah, but we're not overscheduled. We're pretty chill. Cool. She, is she in any sports? No. She's That's why you're not overscheduled, huh? Yeah, no, she she doesn't want to do any extracurriculars except theater is the only thing she wants nowadays. And I'll only do that in the summer because the commitments are too much for me. Absolutely. Well, are you coming out Sunday or no? I don't know about that. Okay. I'll think about it. All right. I was only really considering Saturday. <laughs> well, if you could make out to Philippe's, I don't know. Come hang out. Have a have a have a, a piece of uh, chocolate cream pie. Chocolate cream pie is amazing. It's so neat. That, I've mean, never been. I think I was on my way there with Robert and Ashley to Philippe's once and my car broke down. And that was like 12 years ago. I've been, I'm not even <laughs> from the area and I've probably been 10 times. It's oh. so neat. It's such a unique perspective. Yet at the time you had to pay cash only. I don't know if it's still that way and there's sawdust on the ground and i just i want i told mark i want to come work here it's just the weirdest thing <laughs> wear these clothes from the fifth 1950s and the hair nets and and they and you walk up in line and there's these big giant glass cases and then they they make right there the, you'll say you want such a such sandwich and they'll sit there and make it right there in front of you and mm -hmm. they hand it to you and they've got those deviled eggs and don't they have cow's feet like right in the glass in the right and they yeah. only have like two or three different kinds of drinks. They have like iced tea. I think it's pig's feet. Yeah, I think it's pig's feet. Not to drink. But they have like a iced tea <laughs> and they have something else. And they have it already sitting there, like on a tray with all the glasses already with it in it. It's really old fashioned. The coffee, I think, was 10 cents. And I think it's probably still 10 cents. Really? It's like, what was the yeah. um the other place that was like glass from the past place downtown? That was like a diner, not a diner, like a cafeteria. Anters? Clifton. No, no. Clifton. 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 Yeah, I've been there too. Yeah. I've never had, had a... anything to do with LA before I met Mark Edward. And then I was there all the time and I would be like, I want to go see stuff. And yeah, we I've never been to Pink's. 
the hot dog place? Like one, you know, I, I don't think it's a place you'd want to go back to all over and over again, but just say that you've been, you can see it at least once. I've driven by and I don't like hot dogs, but we've seen well, in that case, it's not your thing. I, th I don't think they serve anything else. Yeah, you because know, I'm all the way down in the South Bay. So when people visit LA and they want to see things that are LA, I don't go to the famous places. I always say, I'll show you my area of LA. And we drive like Palos Verde and I show oh, that's them, like, off the, off the cliffs Pedro. and you could see like the tide pools and you could see Catalina from here. Like that's my area. Trump, Trump, uh, Trump. Yeah. Trump thing. Where, what city do you live in? Well, I don't live there. I oh. live like nearer to Compton than there. <laughs> well, what was it the city that you live in again? I'm in Gardena. Okay. I don't see the, all oh, look, they just seem foreign to me. I, I, I'm inland from the, what they call the beach cities, which is like Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach. You've heard of those. Yeah, we've been to Redondo Beach. We had a favorite Mexican restaurant. We'd go there. Uh, I think there was a comedy club that Mark used to perform in once in a while. It was right there in Redondo Beach with Jay Leno. And so for New Year's, he took me to see Jay Leno once. And, and it was so funny because, you know, Jay Leno got up and he did his thing. And Mark and I and everybody laughed. And Mark said, he's done that same verbiage for 30 years i don't think anything in his act has changed and people laugh at the same jokes at the same place i don't even think his brain switched on because it's exactly the same for 30 years and i thought how horrible <laughs> i mean how awful to do that and then to know, and then to look at the people in the audience going okay laugh line okay nah, nah, nah. and I, it's there's a lot of magicians who do that too and i think i think what a horrible life that is to to have the routine so set that you just it's like clockwork it sounds fresh each time they say it but it's anyway oh. donna beach mark lived near torrance sort of so i i really have a hard time I i'm just on like just that. over the border the northern border of torrance well i don't know if you know where el camino college is no yeah. No, unless, right. unless we unless there's a restaurant that I associate with places mm. <laughs> or a museum maybe or something I don't know when we went to the magic castle and we stayed right across I mean like feet across the street from it how windy and uh, mm. she goes how close are you and I'm like just 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 turn the opposite way of the driveway for the magic castle and stop there and that's where I'm at and and we finally went and Mark said the first day we we're like we got to get something to eat we got to go because we had a kitchen so he says, there's this mart market way down here by the Magic Castle. He had me walk in like three blocks and we got in and we bought like a basket full of stuff for 50 bucks and it was stale and it was awful. And I said, oh, this is horrible. And we walked all the way back. And then the next day I said, we need some real groceries. And I looked on my phone. I said, "What's where's a grocery store nearby? And there was a Target and a CVS, not even a block from us on Hollywood where the the star things are i mean we had a block to walk and we had like food that was regular and not stale yeah. and not 50 bucks i was you know buy a basket of eggs and fruit it was, it was like why you were there a while were you there a whole week yeah we mm -hmm. drove down on tuesday and drove back on monday mm -hmm. they provided um susan and mark uh an apartment that they made that the magic castle maintains just around the block from the magic castle and the, and I, i've known other people that have stayed there when they're playing a gig at the magic castle because you can't you can't afford to keep to rent something yeah hotel. i mean there's your whole fee and but the thing about the magic castle is it's up this giant hill so yeah you walk across the street and then you walk up this giant hill and you're supposed to be in like dress clothes and mm -hmm. heels and then when, and you walk up this giant hill and you go up there and then you go to the magic castle and then you walk down the giant hill at night and it's been raining and I'm like, oh my God, I am going to tank it. And the, it's a driveway. So that's how people come in and go out. So they got these cars going in and out of this driveway you're walking down. It's, it's like, this is, this is just an act. I think I've only done valet. I've never walked the driveway. <laughs> Yeah, we've always done valet. I knew, yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> think about that. That was how you were getting up and down that hill was on foot so so i kept saying we'll we'll do it and we'll have somebody we'll we'll wait until there's a car about to come in 
that's going to go up to Valley and we'll say, can we get in your car and you can drive? <laughs> I kept saying I was going to do that. And never you could take an Uber. A, a $2 I was thinking Uber. of that. I was thinking <laughs> of that. Like, can you take me up the hill? <laughs> but what I just we need to go is, down that driveway. <laughs> and we got, so we got in and we parked at the Magic Castle up on top of the hills where I parked my car. And then we had to take everything out of the car and then walk it down because there's nowhere to park my own car in front of the apartment. I didn't realize at the time we could have taken the car down there and just put on our lights and just taken it inside. We didn't know, but, uh, and it would have been fine, but we parked the car up there and I didn't move my car for like four days. Wendy came by and picked me up or we walked places because I wasn't going to be able to find a parking space anywhere in LA except on this hill. It was, so we'd go in and out of the castle. I'm like, there's my car. <laughs> it was, it's awful there. Homeless problem is awful. Mm -hmm. When do they get it? Come on. Are we done? We're done here. Do you want to know what I want to do? Is is that everybody in our team, except Zeke, was at um, Icon. Um, Icon. Icon. And you got to talk to Tom and 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 plan to come to, to that 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 was that was fun i mean we partied in the apart in the hotel in room. room in, in, yeah. in his room yeah how are the other teams doing kevin one of them i'm laughing at because they got all the answers except they can't find out who was in that apartment <laughs> oh come wow. on they're saying sex in the city or what other tv shows okay, so you in did, New York? We did, did, mention did they lot, figure but... out the theme i think they did I think they did. They had to have. They got all the answers right. I think I didn't see all the answers, but everything I saw was right. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Too bad I'm not recording that team. That'd be so funny. All right, call us back. because we. Yeah, how do I for... do that? Oh, close all rooms? Now. Yep, close all rooms. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's funny. And and Kevin's going to go next year. Hello. You know, for some reason, I have the, I have the inkling to not pollute. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't pollute. So yeah, so, yeah I, 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 going to, I actually feel I like I give to, a hoot. But, <laughs> but now I'm no, not going to. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Unless Smokey the Bear says to stop. That only I can prevent forest fire? Only you can. Is it, it, and Ross, I think, will tell you there's a big disagreement. Is, is it Smokey Bear or Smokey the Bear? We're going to talk about that in the Mandela Effect, I think. Mm -hmm. One of the lessons I'm giving. I think it's I met Mandela Smokey the Bear once. When I was a kid, he came to our local uh, fire picture. station. You must oh, I don't have, have a picture. picture. I've, I've met him. I probably have a picture. Yeah, they they came. To, well, I, they, I might be a picture of me somewhere, but we we were kids. We went to uh, the next town over in Rainham, Massachusetts. They came to the fire station, made a big deal about it. We had to wait in line for like an hour. There was a long line of kids and their parents all First lined up. To did, did you sign Is your book? Good friends with McGruff, the crime dog? Nope. This was before McGruff even existed. There you go. There's the category. Ooh. Mascot <laughs> dog. Mascots. We've got answers here. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. Trade oh. trade characters. Only you can prevent forest fires. Help take a bite out of crime. This was my dream. <laughs> if I, if I, uh, my dream career was to work for the ad council. Oh, really? Yeah. Who was the little electric guy? Who was the little electric light bulb guy? Remember him? No. Sparky oh. or something. There was a little electric yeah. electric lightning I bolt guy. Remember. And then there was a guy named Speedy. Remember Speedy? Alka Seltzer, the guy who's named Speedy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, Alka the lonely repairman for me. I had to explain to my daughter yeah. um the Jolly Green Giant. Yeah. <laughs> oh she saw it on the Thanksgiving oh, Day Parade. She's like, who's that? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Wilson. And we're back. Who right, keeps Aaron. track of this? We, we are recording, just to let everyone know. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Thank Vincent, you, Vincent. If you're watching this video, Still? apparently we're being recorded. <laughs> Go for it, Kevin. Hey, here are the answers. We, ha we have been oh recorded. Where did Kyle? Did Kyle yeah, disappear? Kyle, you're here. Where did, what happened? We missed you. I couldn't get in the room. Because oh. we, need, we needed you big time. Did what you, did not, you write down? Did, did, you, you write did down I not get you? a message? Did you message me? We, I said I'm in the wrong room, but I don't think you saw it. It was like I was the only one here when I, I put to everyone. But oh, was... I'm so sorry. I was oh, cross-stitching. We needed him so bad. I, no, I, I, we I, give him I, another I, minute? Uh, 
<laughs> you know, one of the did answers, you, Kyle. Right did, you oh, tell yeah. the, did you tell the other team the wrong answers? No, he was <laughs> just by himself. So. He, 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 he left our game. room and never came back to our room. I mean, I'm okay with giving them do, some more time. Do we have to go let him get, give us the answers we missed? Do you have answers? Can you Kyle? go back to his room? I have at least one. Can you go to his Yeah. Text okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. I'm okay. Yeah, you guys go back. Why do we go I back didn't notice. I'm sorry. You just well, come back when you're no, you don't have to go back. Just to, if you want to go back with Kyle and get and get some answers, you don't have to yeah. go back though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can Everybody we go back with Kyle here. and get some answers for our team too? <laughs> <laughs> you guys had yeah, one. I was laughing at you guys because you you went all around the answer. Our team. It's, so, it's so obvious. Shush. Everybody, yeah. that didn't Everybody work. Which, yeah. Kevin, our our team, Kevin. Yes, yes, your team. On, on Kyle which is, one? Kyle didn't eight? go back. They got no, me no. on five. So Oh, okay. That we didn't get. Shush, 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 you guys, you're just making a fuss. Let me fix it. My goodness. Hey, Susan. I, I, I went back to my breakout room and there was Kyle again. I'm like, you have to <laughs> <three>? room. <laughs> Kyle, shush. You're supposed to be in three, right? I'm doing, I'm trying. No, it's not no where you want to be. An island, obviously, is. Kyle is. I'm there putting it you is. in three because nobody's asked, answered my question. There he's gone. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. funny. Now we can right. talk about that. Too. Now we can talk. Okay, about let's Kyle. talk about Kyle. <laughs> so was the question eight, Kevin, that that we were circling around? Yes. What'd you yeah, come up course. with the answer? We didn't. We never okay. did. Oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. That yeah. so we went did you come up with the TV category show that you brought up there? And did you come up with the category? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we got the category. What is it? I love Lucy. Okay, who who would? Oh, hey, Kevin. Where did they live? Wait, wait, Kevin. There's what? people, but oh, they all, all the teams are done here. Okay, we already know they don't have the answer. Okay, I know, but we're leaving out everyone else from the fun. Yeah, but oh, I'm that's gonna go, yeah, that's true. <sighs> oh, Karen. Well, no matter I'm what, so we're gonna glad. be sitting here having fun on something. We can, right? we can, we can talk more Star miss. Trek like we were talking in our room because oh, we have. Uh, we have Lucy well, to the, thank well, for Star There are Trek. five people, and it's not the cast of Friends who lived at that address. <laughs> five people? Yes, there are. Yeah. Okay, well, that eliminates the other show we brought up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that you don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Well, I'm sure we know, we just don't remember. That's, that's different. The, yeah, the Ricardos, one, I, that's the only question the I Ricardos knew. Ricardos and the Mertzes. Right. Uh, and okay. little Ricky. That's four. Little Ricky. Little, well, Ricky. Yeah, little, little Ricky, I forgot Little Ricky. Little Ricky. Yeah, but he came much anyway. later, though. <laughs> as, as young children often do. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, he came much later in the show. Yeah, did you guys see Ricardo? Well, that too. Did you guys see the show? The Smiley and Me. It was okay. Usually the little children do come late. Yes. Although in All one right. of his routines, Victor Borga once said, I was an only child, but later my parents had an older Except brother. Except <laughs> in more in Mark and Mindy. Yes. Mark. Mirth show up. Charlie, get out of there. <laughs> Quit eating the poop. Get out of here. <laughs> God, I hope he's talking to his dog. Save some for me. <laughs> Save some for me. That's my supper. <laughs> we got that from D.B. Cooper's toilet. <laughs> oh. Did you give him all the correct answers, Kyle? You know it. All I right, still oh, think dear. Jimmy Cooper's alive. We're I in mean, trouble. We survived the thing. Are we ready? As I said, um, he's he's actually a uh, um. It was well, Elvis impersonator in Vegas. <laughs> now Randy's out right. now. Was he on an episode of Our Love Lucy? Deadline. Tell you that. So somebody mute these people. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have to mute them. We can go through the answers. Okay, do it. Go, Kevin. Number one is Eye of the Tiger. All right. Emphasis on the word I. Yes. Number two is Love. Love. Number three is Lucy from the, car the Peanuts cartoon. So the first three answers, I love Lucy. But what's the theme? Uh, way the, way to give the theme away right at the beginning, the Kevin. The monster. Come on. Come on. So... <laughs> So number four is Ricky Nelson. God and Potty is the name of the song. Number five is Ethel. Spelled differently, but it's still Ethel. Ah. Number six oh. is Fred McMurray. Right. And oh, really? the guy who played Fred in I Love Loosely was William Frawley, number seven. Called it. <laughs> 
And he was also Uncle Bob, and he died on that during that show. That's why they replaced him with Uncle Charlie. And ah. he was on- Yep. And then the people who lived in the East River were the Ricardos and the Mertzes and Little Ricky. The 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 I Love Lucy show was based. Mm-hmm. That was their address. Could that's they, so, that's so silly that we didn't get that. I know. I can't believe you could. And then number nine is number nine is not Lucy. It's Lucille. It can't. That's Lucy right. is not acceptable for number nine. Lucille. Mm-hmm. So if you said Lucy, it's wrong. It's Lucy. He wrote a whole song about it. Kyle. Right. You, Kyle. And of course, the last one is something. Ball. Number 10 is Ball. Ball State. So it's Lucy. Ball. Good. All right. Good Yay, job. Bob. Scores. Yeah. I... Good job, Kevin. I hope you guys okay. enjoyed that. Yep. That was fun. Was Except fun. for number eight. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> and it's hilarious. Yeah, we, we had issues with that, but once we answered the rest, we're like, oh, yeah, duh. It goes with the theme. So <laughs> it's kind of kind yeah. of figure that one out. Okay, so team number one, Nuclear Frish, Fission, Fusion Jazz Band. We had nine. You're in the lead. Yay! Virtual <laughs> long. Team three, virtual <laughs> trading cards. $99 each, but bye now. Six. And that's Still with Kyle really coming. I mean, Carl coming. Hey, Kyle coming back. <laughs> yeah, he got us a couple points. Oh my god! Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I do that. The more, I, the more I can't figure out why I don't do, I do that. The more I'll do it. Okay, we're f- f- fission for fusion. Ten. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, now you're in the lead. Okay, so let's go. No NFT for me. Ten. Oh. And oh my gosh. Something clever. Do they hold on to the lead? And yes, of course. Yes. Yes. Oh <laughs> my god! Oh man! Oh, oh man. man! It was good. Oh, oh man! Good man. job, team. Oh, man. Oh, Yay. Okay. Can we get the answers in the chat? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll put oh, them in. Man. There. All right, Peg. <laughs> Peg. All right, Pegaroo Boo. You may hate this. I was feeling very Christmassy and Dickensian. So the category is Charles Dickens characters. I'm going to give you a list of 10 characters from various books and then a list of 10 books. And you just match the character to the book. Ooh, Ooh okay. Okay, so here comes the, the first one is- Hold on, hold on. Let's let uh, Kevin get all his answers in. He did. In that, there in that. All right. Thank you, Kevin. All right, there's the characters. I'm going to go off and- Copy the books. Okay. Oops. Oh, I don't want to copy the answers. <laughs> I mean, if you, you really want once. to, you can. Go right ahead, no. really. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No. All right, there's the novels. And I'm going to come back here. I guess I can send them, right? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I, huh? I know it's I know it's kind of obvious, but the first one there is A, correct? Yes. Yeah, it yep. just probably didn't come okay. up with yeah, it's, it's numbers and letters. I don't have powers anymore. I gave them to you. I don't have the oh I removed them. I forgot I'd given them to you. Okay, here it goes back. Uh-huh. Ah, <laughs> I I did powerful open up the tab and I touched on that. Go host. A likely story. No, I did. Lose, are we gonna lose Kyle again? <laughs> She's had a uh, here we go. Hold our breath. Hey. No. No. Okay. Let me see if I can. All right. Let me get my screen share on. Yeah. This. These are hard to do if you don't have a screen share Woo-hoo. all right okay all right uh, i'm unmuted okay Great. okay i know one is number is d or number one is d is a dog um let's see and i'm guessing there was no mention of whether characters are used twice at all or whatever so you said one is d right yeah all right yeah. i'm gonna cut and paste these anyone uh, else Fe- fezziwig was in um Christmas Carol. Okay, good right. call. I'm trying to think. Who was Fezziwig? Um, he was probably one of the uh, uh, business friends. 
I, I think Fezziwig yeah. is Gonzo from from the <laughs> Good one. Yeah, the, nice one there. Okay. Well, he had, he had a bunch of daughters. I remember that. Uh, Tale of Two Cities. I don't know. I've never read that. Yeah. Sydney Sydney some... Carton, A Tale of Two Cities. Oh, awesome. Thank wow, you. Wow, Aaron. I'm hoping that we got enough people here that I haven't read a lot of Dickens, unfortunately. I know I haven't. But no. I Although I did just see the the new take on the Christmas Carol, which had Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds in it. That was I fun. Saw that that was fun. Yeah, my kids, my kids yeah, and I watched it. it. We really enjoyed it. Really? Yep, it was fun. It was a, It was. Some people are saying it's like there's not much new, and I'm like, I thought it had an interesting twist that wasn't yeah. present in previous iteration so i recommend it i liked it i mean maybe um, other people won't bill sykes was in a um, oliver twist yeah that's what i think yep. too yep. okay if cool with your kids i guess that movie would be fun but it wouldn't be i don't know well have you seen it no Did anyone no oh, okay i, I saw it. it i saw it i enjoyed it i liked it too i, mean, I don't I, want to I, say too much because the any any kind of reveal would give away the the change in yeah. this version and i don't yeah. want to do that because it was fun. I like i like ryan reynolds i thought he played yeah he did a, a good ryan, job he played a ryan reynolds character yeah but but still a, but, a good no, yes. a good scrooge-ish type yes. character yes who else right. we got here mm -hmm. i have no idea i'm we're definitely getting to maybe the yeah Nicholas Nickleby, I definitely recognize, but I don't know. Spike, number four. I have no clue. I mean, Spike sounds like a, a, a David Copperfield Street Urgent's character. Well, that would be Copperfield, right? Yeah, but Nicholas Nickleby wasn't that. I, I have no idea. I only know a few Dickens characters. characters. Not that one. Come here, real quick. Yeah, uh, he might be able to help us out. Okay, so here's characters. We'll, we'll take all the help we can get. Dickens films, uh, books, and here's the books. So, like, here's somebody named Smike. Don't know that one. Uh, Lady Deadlock. No. Uh, uh, Arthur Clinham. Let me look at the list. Clin Clinham. Bill Sykes goes with. Oh, we already got him. He's Oliver Twist. Oh. Right. Yeah. And double check in case we have anything wrong, but we're pretty confident in the ones we already got. Arthur Flynn. I, I think I know Lady Deadlock. Okay. I have not read it. I, I just, I don't know any. But I think that's Bleak House. Thank you. Okay. Works for me. Then Arthur may be F, the Pitwick Papers. Dang it. Didn't see that either. Read that in. What were you saying, uh, Cindy? I said F what? maybe Which Arthur one? was uh, number seven is F Pitwick Papers. Uh, it's, it's really just a guess. In fact, the rest of them are be guess for me. Um, yeah. Betsy Trotwood, maybe Little Dorrit or Hard Times? Because these are just guesses. I've, it's probably, well, I like you know, I've yeah. I've read all these books, but I know I've not never read Little Dorrit. Because it's say. Betsy, I think maybe again it could be another character other than the main character. But yeah, I just oh, that yeah, seems yeah, to Little fit Dorrit's for me. the main character. <laughs> little Dorrit, they may be your friend, right? I think Dorrit's a little girl or something. Oh, and we actually have. Do we have extras? One, two, three. Nope. No. Okay, we got ten for ten. Okay, we're good. Did we like do we like Nicholas Nickleby or David Copper Copperfield for Smike? I think I've heard both. Or if anyone yeah, has any other both. thoughts. I like Nicholas Nicholas Nickleby. I wouldn't put hard times there because then we've got ABC as two, three, four. Yeah. So Nicholas Nickleby for four? For four. Just a guess, like like we're like we're all right, guessing. right. We're all we're yeah. all kind of guessing once yeah. we got past the ones that we were sure on. So, all right, Just what do we like better for me. eight, C or I? God. Is David Copperfield? What's the like? I don't know. He's I know the magician. The I don't know anything about the books. So. <laughs> I, David Copperfield is an orphan. 
he gets adopted by a well-to-do person, well-to-do family, I believe. What what name sounds more likely to be in that book? A Josiah, Josiah or Sam? Maybe Josiah. Josiah Bounderby just sounds like some rich name guy. That, a rich guy <laughs> that he would use as a rich guy's name. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So let's go with that. Sure. Why not? I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? We're going to get them wrong. Sure you know what are you going to do? It's easier to be able to when he, she's reading them off. Do I? I, I always take a picture of the screen when we do stuff like this so that when yeah. we get to that no, I'm point, sorry. I can look at my, it. My monitor is a no pictures only zone. I'm sorry. I've already taken it. Sorry. <laughs> what? You delete that right now, Missy. <laughs> Come on over and take it from me. Ben, is this uh, an NFT that you've got going here? <laughs> an NFT, yes. If we, exactly. If we send you 99 bucks, can I get the copy? <laughs> yes, you can have as many copies as you want. Oh, it that's is great. your one. So okay, so Aaron, what's your what's your uh, what's your Star Trek story? I'm assuming you're you're a pretty big fan as well, right? We're telling Star Trek stories. Yeah, because yeah. I was playing with this earlier. Oh, hold on, I got to turn oh, it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. We're Star you're Trek cute. fans. I'm a Star yes, Trek we are big fan, Star Trek fans. But not including be old enough to see the original Star Trek. My 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 Star Trek story is. Um, Made my out of son, knockoff Lego bricks. <laughs> my son was born on a Saturday, and the doctor came in to induce. Okay. As Star Trek's episode was beginning to air, uh, and, and and we made him wait an hour. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's dedication. It was That's like dedication. no, no, no. We've yeah, got, we've got we've got the TV on Next Generation. It was it was a Next Generation episode, and no, was, nice. You can't interrupt. I like it. <laughs> Did you name your son after a character? No. Or an actor? No, but we tried to name our dog Worf, and my son vetoed that. He was 14. He was 14. But then again, on my desk, I also have some. But my dog was named Ozzy Ozzy Osbourne, so that's okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's kind of nerdy, yeah. (laughs) So I I have a love of of both. Um, I don't don't know how you feel about the newer uh, rebooted Star Trek movies. I haven't seen any of them. I enjoyed them. I try to find, because again, I'm a fan, so I try to find aspects of it I like. I liked the casting. I thought all the casting yeah. choices were excellent. Yeah. I, however, did not care for the story because one, you know, not I wasn't in the military, um, but, you know, I follow, you know, military stuff and, and ranks and all that. And to have someone who technically didn't even finish uh Starfleet Academy to get promoted to a captain just made my made me want to punch the screen. I, I did who, not care about that. that? You can call us back. Sure. Maggie. Oh she's gone. Who, 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 who was it? Yeah. So you gotta you gotta watch the new movies. But again, I like the casting. I thought um I thought Chris Pine did a did a fine job. Um uh, now, these I, I are liked... the later Star Trek movies because the first one came out when I was in college. Yeah, no, they, they rebooted it in 2009. The whole new cast. So you mean they remade it? He's talking yeah. about the series. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the definition oh, of a the reboot. Series, yeah. not the movie. Yeah. I, haven't, yeah. I have no idea what's going on in the series. I haven't watched a single this isn't, one. This isn't the series. This is movies. No, they this did. is movies. They came they out with three, three new movies starting in 2009. And the first. Uh, so these are very really recent because the first. Star Trek movie was when I was in college, and that yeah. was yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah relatively recent. I mean, they're still over ten years old. Viger, remember this that is, one? This, oh. is take, this is taking the original cast, recasting those people, yeah, new and actors, re- and retelling the start of the yes. Enterprise and the and Kirk's crew. Yeah, did it stay to canon? Nah, they they it, they it, got they, away they, from, they got they, away from canon by 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 a an effect that can irritate people yes. yeah they use they, time, use they use time uh, travel to yeah. create okay. an alternate okay. an alternate in other words timeline. susan yeah. would hate it hate well it. the <laughs> reason why they did that though susan is that was a way to not anger all your classic star trek fans because they're saying this exists but it doesn't negate the other timeline well why don't they just and it gave them room to move off in whatever direction 
and use well, the Well, there's a lot why, of behind the scenes that? stuff that not everybody knows about that, unless you're a big nerdy fan like me, is that <laughs> a lot of that was done because when they split up Paramount and CBS, CBS had the license for Star Trek TV shows and Paramount had the license for movies. So they had to create a separate trademark or copyright, what have you. Um, but there was like a, a rule in there that things had to be like 20% different because so it wouldn't inf infringe on the other copyright. You know why? And that, and that was really dumb. I really wish they never would have split Listen. Uh, uh, Paramount and CBS because okay. all it did was because it it. they used to use the same sets and everything between the movies and the TV shows. Because yep. if you look at yep. the movies, they redressed some of the next gen sets for for some of the later Star Trek movies. Why yeah. don't they just tell another story that's parallel to? I mean, why do you? Ha this is what I don't the, why the do characters are beloved, and they want to tell it for the new generation. But of they could have. The story wasn't that. I know unique. they could have told the story of Starship. Yep. So they Starship or Starship right. Star Trek. Right. Well, right now there's like, and there's like five different. There's like five different Star Trek shows on TV now on Paramount Plus. So there's they're like Star Trek is huge used. now. You didn't have and, to do it. And that's what they're doing now. They're getting split off into. We're now telling the story of the Starship. Dis Sure, cut me off in the middle of my conversation. Yep. I was going to say, I saw the t timer counting down. I was going to say, you're getting ready <laughs> like, to get caught yeah. Go faster. Kyle, Kyle is in the waiting room. He's he's out now. Oh, oh. He was in what? there twice. I no. brought him in twice. Kyle, you're just in the doghouse tonight, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> this time the computer rebooted, which is a rare occurrence. Uh, anyway. I think it's all those. The data it's the ghost of D.B. Cooper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very likely. I think it's what Kyle's been doing. They're they're going to start targeting him. These these. Uh, no, it's actually DB Cooper. He's become a, a a brilliant hacker, and he's uh, finding out that people are talking about him, bringing him up. So he had to could, take Kyle could out. Could Kyle's dad be DB Cooper? I don't know. It, if not? you like the DB Cooper mystery, whatever you do, do not ever watch the movie The Pursuit of DB Cooper. Oh, bad. Huh? <laughs> oh. It's it's all a bunch of made up stuff of speculating about what happened after the the hijacking. No, a complete <laughs> fiction. Didn't he have a monkey and drive around in a truck? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you if you had two hundred grand? Yeah, seriously. Right, I'm thinking of BJ you know, and the bear. It's ten after one in the morning. Can we get answers? We yes. Oh my gosh! I'm all for answers. The answers are ready. I got to say, I heard a lot of people complain about what they had to read in high school. <laughs> I, I, not in our team. Not our team. Okay. Stop making so, it seem worse than it is, Peggy. In, in the chat, number one is Miss Havisham is from Great Expectations. Yay. Betsy Trotwood is from David Copperfield, which is Can you is give I. the letter? Please yeah. give the letter. 1D. 1D. They're, and the, they're all in the chat with the letter. Betsy Trotwood is I, David Copperfield. Sydney Carton is B, Tale of Two Cities. Smike no, is from no. Nicholas Nickleby, which was J. Lady Dedlock H, Bleak House. Fezziwig is uh, A, Christmas Carol. I'm sorry, G, A Christmas Carol. A, Christmas Carol. That was an article. Um, and I've just lost my Seven. whole thing here. Arthur. Seven. Arthur Clenham is from a, 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 a little, little Dorrit. Um, a Josiah Bounderby is from Hard Times, and for some reason I don't have a letter there. Sorry. C. Thank you. And nine is Bill Sykes. E Oliver Twist. A lot of people knew about Bill. And then Sam Weller, number ten, is J from the Pickwick Papers. Wow. Are we really guessed on that one? I don't you mean number ten is F? Do I? Yeah, F is a yes. with papers. All right. J is Nicholas Nickleby. <laughs> yeah, Nickleby is Mike and Sam Weller is Pickwick. But Sam yeah. Weller's, but the Pickwick papers was letter F. Okay. So Pickwick is F. Sorry. I yeah. guessed very poorly. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was interesting. I 
don't remember any of my dig I don't think, at least not these characters. <laughs> so before we go to scores, I'm just going to go to room uh, game on December 22nd. <laughs> game number 139. We already have Rob and Carl doing categories and Gail doing bonus. So I need mm -hmm. two people. And I'm looking for hands. Is that Zeke's hand? Oh, oh, Leonard. I thought I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be up in Ben. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. Well, Karen had one this week. So if nobody else, if we can't find somebody, I'm going to put Karen in. So come on. I won't be here next week. So, okay. That's a valid excuse. Just an excuse. Nobody is is um, Wolf coming back? Mike Wolf coming next week? Back? I don't know. Rob Palmer, maybe. He always. <laughs> he's, he's already got, got one. one. I'm he's not dead. sure I was here this week. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's no, noticed and hasn't seen my photo, the guy in the middle is little Ricky from the I Love Lucy. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk Caspian into it because he hasn't done one in a week. So I'll, I'll talk to him into it or I'll, or somebody will volunteer or I'll volunteer somebody. So that's what we'll do. Karen, I'll put you in. Okay. Because you haven't done that many. And I, I also have a picture of Dickens too. I usually do one a month. This would be unusual, but I'm happy to. Okay. It Unless looks somebody else steps up, then I'll... Yep, that's little Jimmy Dickens. Okay, so let's go to scores. Um, if somebody wants to do a bonus, I can do a regular category instead. <laughs> I'll do a bonus then. I'll do a bonus. Okay, so I'll do a category and somebody will do a bonus? The, yeah, I said I'll do a bonus. Okay, Cindy's doing a bonus. Yeah. And, and I'll switch Gail's to a category. Doing Okay. I'm not doing, right. So I'm not doing one, Susan. Is that correct? Or are you going to talk to Caspian or I'm doing I'll, it? I'll ask Cass if he won't. Let me, maybe he'll text I'll do her. one. Who? Faith. 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 Yeah, Faith. Faith. Okay, Faith, you're taking Karen's part. Yeah. All right. So Ramiro. Okay. All right, we got it. Thank you all for volunteering or being volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got to go to the scores, huh? Yeah. That'd be nice. No, you don't. Okay. So <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. So team three, virtual trading cards, $99 each. Now, remember, I gave you Alan a long time ago. So we got four. Alan. <laughs> well, I'm consistent. Come on. <laughs> it's better than I would have done. Trust me. Nuclear Fusion Jazz Band. Also four. Ooh, this is hard to feel bad. We're fusion, fission for fusion, which was the category, which was the team that Peggy was on. Six. Yay. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Wow. Look at that. And no NFT. <coughs> Ten. And wow. five. Awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow. Well done. Oh. There, there was some luck. Was there somebody on your team that was a huge fan of uh... No, I, we guessed uh... on some of them. <laughs> I said congratulations <laughs> on your victory. We got four. Yep. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah! Wow. 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 Oh, no! Look Shocking! At, um, look at that! Even if we didn't move forward, I guess we the rest and I guess we're on. I mean, up, job, Peggy. You an upset in overtime. I can't um, imagine. That's why I said this. congratulations <laughs> on your victory. That what a huge spread. Very well done. Well done. I love that, you guys. That makes my day. And I was having a good day already. But look at that. Woohoo. I love it whenever uh, there are categories that some people excel at and some categories they just don't. And not always the same people. Good job. And sometimes it's just luck. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, back before my son was born, I, I did a thing where I read I read a bunch of Dickens, but the only thing on that list, of course, I read Christmas Carol, but the only long novel I read on that list was Pickwick Papers. But I remember Sam Weller. Sam Weller. They pronounce he. It was a scene where he insisted that it was pronounced like a V. So I knew that. I said, well. I remember Sam Veller, but the only thing on here I've read is Pickwick Papers. Oh. So 
other than that, we were making educated, you know, we didn't know it was educated guesses. So <laughs> I, 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 everybody. Okay, good night. <laughs> I am really sad that I barely know so little bit about Dickens. My gosh, what a good writer that must have been. Peggy, I made it to the end. Bye, Aaron. Sure did. Thank Thank you, Aaron. You were helpful. Second place. Woo woo. (laughs) Bye, Karen. (laughs) Who's counting? All right, y'all. So y'all, y'all. So I gotta go pack. South Salinas. Yeah, have fun in uh, LA. I was have a good time in LA. From East Salinas, so we would normally say Ike. <laughs> well, LA has been overcast and close to rainy for like a week now. So this is being talked to. I'm being talked to by a badger. I, <laughs> can we just have her keep talking? Because I it just was gorgeous watching. down there on the Wednesday. Well, you left. It's, it's been great. <laughs> I just. I'm planning not. I mean, I love it. It's been in the 60s every every day, and like in. In the upper 30s where I am at night, which is kind of unusual, but I like it. I like it too. It's nice. Okay, and no rain. It just says cloud. Yeah. I'm not planning on bringing a whole bunch of stuff with me. I'm wearing jeans and and I'm probably only going to take one pair of shoes and that is it. Well, well, you're going you're gonna to wear a, a ball gown. I got a warm jacket. I've got. You're, you're going to wear a ball a gown jacket. for your speech, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, right. And okay. gloves because your hands will freeze. <laughs> It's not that cold. I, I, it, well, I don't know. You're not walking a dog. Maybe it. You don't need to. But um, it's no, my hands get cold dog. in the morning. Okay, so I'm getting in at six tomorrow. Oh, I'm just going to take a taxi and just get to my hotel, drop off my stuff, and if and if if I'm up to it, I'm thinking of going down to the last bookstore, which is only a few blocks from where I'm at. But yeah. it's kind of creepy walking in that area because it's LA. <laughs> yeah, it is. And though, um, um, I'll see you nope. at 10 o'clock at the museum no matter what. How are you getting there? I just take an Uber. Okay. Susan, okay. is it creepy because people have had a lot of plastic surgery and they all look like no, this is not Hollywood. <laughs> this is downtown LA. I, uh, Mark and I were no. trying to find a parking no. space. One time we were driving up there and there was some guy masturbating right there in front of us. He pulled his oh, no, mask and everything. I was like, in downtown LA, it's don't either pull over, don't rich pull people over. in loft or people living in tents on the street. So I oh. do not want to walk down there. I could see myself taking an Uber two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need to do a, a trivia night where we're all animals because this is fun watching Paula talk. <laughs> i'm not sure everybody has the best software to be able to do it but it would be fun to do a whole cat a whole yeah. t- a whole thing on cat everybody pick a different animal okay so so ben you organize that all right make sure okay go through everybody make sure everybody has a uh the, software. the appropriate I'll, I'll i'll mail out some updated hardware for people that okay. need it. yeah well, my you computer know. won't won't do this thank you ben Cash sure not a problem Cash Cash i got you covered gonna buy a computer <laughs> He wants to use points from his Visa card. He doesn't want it. I don't know why. I'm like, just buy it and pay yourself. No, I'm going to. I want to use my cash back. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Whatever. All right. I will okay. see some of you very soon. Like, in Good night, two- peoples. Good night, everybody. That was Good fun. Night. That was fun. Take Thank care, everybody. Good night. Good night. You all.